Make sure you tune in and watch the picture this shows on her chanda. It's Flextravaganza time, folks. From Thursday the 31st of December at 6 p.m. to Friday the 15th of January at 6 p.m., we would like to offer you our thanks and best wishes for 2021 by bringing you our Flextravaganza event. If you add at least £5 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flextravaganza Flexi Basket offers. This means you can spread the cost of your entire order over two equal monthly Flexi Buy payments, offering you a more cost efficient way of shopping with us. Flexible payments for everyone. Join us from Thursday, the 31st of December, to make your shopping experience with Hachanda even easier. Hi, I'm Gina Barrett from Gina B Silkworks. We're a family company specializing in traditional crafts for the modern maker. Most of our products involve textiles and age old techniques from button making, lace making, weaving and other forms of passamentary. I hope you'll be able to tune in to the Gina B Silkworks shows here on Hochanda. Hi, I'm Sarah. And I'm Vicky. We are the Stamping Sisters from Stamp Headaches. We'd started our family run business in 1992 when we were importing rubber stamps from the USA. But now we design and manufacture them all here in house in our shop in Bedfordshire. We make grey rubber stamps and we make them as deeply etched as we possibly can so that you can use them in many different ways. On our shows on Hachanda, we like to give you lots of different techniques to use with the stamps, different ways that they can be used and ideas. We hope that we can inspire you to get out your stamps and have a play. Look at all the different designs we've got. We've got Christmas, we've got scenic, we've got cute and furry. There's something for everyone. Make sure you don't miss the Stamp Addict shows on Hochanda. Did you know you can continue watching Hochanda 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, for free, using your smart TV? It's just like watching us on your computer or tablet, only now we'll be on your large screen smart TV. Follow these easy steps to get your smart TV set up. Firstly, make sure your smart TV is connected to the internet, either through a wireless connection, if your TV supports it, or via the Ethernet port on the back of your TV. If you're not already connected, use your remote control and select network settings through your TV's menu and follow the instructions to set this up. Remember to have your router's password to hand, whether you're using a wired or wireless connection. This should be on the side or bottom of your router. You can always refer to your TV's help menu or instruction booklet for more information. Once you are set up, press the Smart Hub dedicated button on your remote. This will vary between brands, but it's usually located at the center of the remote. This is where you'll find your internet web browser app. Select this to open and then type hochanda.com into the search bar. And this will take you to our website homepage, which includes our live broadcast and access to previous shows. So now you can watch, purchase and catch up with your favorite shows 24 hours a day, seven days a week on your TV, whenever you feel crafty. Good evening, everyone. Oh, we've got a delightful show lined up. I've said that at the start of every show today, but we have. We've had a great day here at Hochando. And if it is your first time um, finding us, maybe you found us on the website, maybe you found us on your EPG. Well, hello, where have you been? Uh, it's been great to have your company today. My name's Janice Phillips, and I'm with the beautifully talented... Joe Ward. Good evening. Good evening, Lo everybody. Love the hair. Thank you. When did I that happen? Oh, this is this has been the ongoing theme for about three years now, but it's starting to fade. But it's doing all right. I like it. I like it. And like your glasses to match as well. Well, of course. Uh, Joe. Now we've seen you here at Hochanda doing demonstrations on various um, brands. But how did you get involved with Craft Yourself Silly? So Haley 
as we all know, mad as a hatter. And we just, we happened to meet um, one day when I was doing other shows and she needed somebody to do her MDF. Mm -hmm. So I, I, got, um, I got the job of demonstrating her MDF. And then we decided that Hayley needs to expand my horizons because I don't do fabric. Okay. It's not something that I do at all. So Hayley is trusting me with her baby today and letting me bring out her proggy, which could be interesting. So it's my first time progging. I feel like a school teacher sat at a table because oh, yeah, I'm fat rather than oh, standing. I, I think it's fantastic. It's all changed. Well, should we talk about proggy, exactly what it is? Because we don't need a needle and we don't need a thread, but we can make some gorgeous, wonderful, adorable characters. <laughs> what is proggy? So proggy is essentially, it's using hessian and fleece to create your fabric. But what Hayley's done is she's taken it one step further and she's created some templates for some 3D animals that you can then create with your proggy. And they're all sewn together with the fleece. There's no, like you say, no separate needle and thread. Um, so you literally need your hessian, yes. your fleece, yes. a pair of scissors to cut your fleece up. Yes. And we've got some cracking tools as well that will help with that. Um, and a proggy tool, which is like a giant wooden pokey tool, yes. for argument's sake. We have got those on the show. You can see there underneath, though, no stitches. That is the fleece and the hessian um, stitched, sewn, progged, progged <laughs> together. This is Graham, everybody. I was kind of thinking it's more like Hayley, to be fair. <laughs> uh, when I first, it does look a little like Hayley. Cute and lovely, but this is Graham, nine pounds and ninety nine pence. Oh, it's so super soft. Now this has been filled with dried peas. We know that, um, but you could fill uh, Proggy the Hedgehog with, or Hed uh, Graham the Hedgehog, with anything really, a little bit of yeah. stuffing. Rice, anything yeah. you like. If you want to make them into a heavier doorstop, you could put something like that in it. Or you can just use your standard stuffing, Yeah. your, your um, toy stuffing, and that would obviously keep them nice and soft as well. He's lovely though, he's got a great little head of thorns on him, or a little <laughs> fur, or, or little Proggy bits. Absolutely brilliant. How long would something like that take to make, would you say? If you are being sat and dedicated, I would say that that could probably be done over a couple of evenings. Really? Oh, yeah, how it lovely. doesn't take long and it comes together really quickly, which is another thing which is good because it's very satisfying. Oh. Now, it does come with the eyes. You can see there, if you're giving this with a, to a younger person, then you can always stitch eyes on and use those yeah. um, eyes. But they are safety eyes, but that's entirely up to you, uh, the age that you give it to. Uh, you can see here the full instructions. It's really easy to follow. We've got some great demonstrations coming up from our Joe. It's only 9 99 on its <laughs> own, but guess what? Well, the hedgehog needs a friend, and we've got a friend. We've got the fox. He's my favourite. And the bundle <laughs> with the fox and the hedgehog is a £10 saving. It's £25.96. So that works out that you're actually not paying for one of the kids. Bargain. Because it's £9.99 for the hedgehog. There you go. Absolute bog, but you're saving. Ten pounds. Um, if you want just the fox, it's twelve ninety nine. We'll bring the details up for that. Um, oh, I know a couple of thousand people that might want that fox. There he <laughs> is, or she is. Could be a he, could be a she. One seven seven zero nine zero is your item number. I think that is lovely, Joe. And like He's you said, you put some heavy weight in there. What a great little doorstop. Yeah, really, really good. I I felt like um, when I when I brought the bag with all of these samples home. Yes. I felt a bit like I was in a bit of a zoo. I wanted them all up my stairs, oh. all looking at me because they've got. Again, you can make the character how you want with their face and how you place in their eyes and things like that. So. Lovely. Can you make little really puppets cute. out of them, maybe? You, well, this one has got stuffing in him. I think yeah. that one that you've got a bit further along, Ooh, um, yes. the owl, he's been made like a puppet. Ooh, we'll he's not got any stuffing in him. So. Um, I'm just thinking, you know, if, that, if, if the fox was hollow because of the size of it, make a nice little cosy maybe for uh, like a little flask or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, which would be nice, or a little water bottle, or those things that you put in the microwave to heat up, yeah. um, like a lavender heating thing. I was thinking, if you if you attached his tail to his back so it wasn't flopping over, you could make a set of these, maybe the uh, fox, the yeah. penguin, and a few others, Skittles. 
Oh. Make a big proggy ball. Oh, yeah, it has to be a soft ball. Yes, yeah. yeah. You couldn't be, couldn't, couldn't hurt the animals. Oh, well, that's good but, yeah, fun. We could play, we could play um, proggy skittles. I think that would be quite think... nice. I think they would look lovely. Uh, right, we're going to move on to the owl because you've mentioned him. I want to show everybody <laughs> the owl at home if we can. Um, and he, this is so super cute uh, with the owl because we've made him into woo, doo -doo, into a puppet. Uh, there he is. Um, but again, you could put something uh, inside the owl. Uh, you could put something uh, like stones or uh, peas or something like that. Mm -hmm. But I think he's super sweet as um, a puppet or a little tea cosy. Yeah, absolutely. Actually, he'd be really cute on a teapot, wouldn't he? And telling kids in schools and things, uh, telling stories to kids in schools when you can animate them with a little puppet, that's yeah. really nice as well. So they, they, they can go into all kinds of different settings. I'm just, I'm just trying to stand up because if I stay in that position, I will never get up and leave tonight. There you go. I'm just oh, standing up. I had a bit of cramp today when I came to work in my calf, I know. Um, Anywho, um, here he is, or here she is. Um, three pieces in total. Uh, so this is your proggy owl and toolkit. So you're not paying for the owl, really, because you're getting the toolkit. Have we got the toolkit? Oh, right. Let me... So, I do need to show you everything you're getting. So you're getting the tool, this one, and the proggy tool. Right, let's bring these forward. Let's show you what you're getting. So here we go. The full kit right here. I see. Now that's why we had a couple of extras in the background. There you go. So you've got your tool. You've got your proggy strip there. You've got the fabric to make the out for £15.97. That's ridiculous. Wow. But you've got the tool, once you've done proggy once and you understand the principles of it, you can then go on to make up your own projects, but you've got the key tools that will make your life easier with this kit. So a really, really good starter kit to take. It's like a sabre tooth, isn't it? <laughs> it is. And there you go. So those are your tools. This is an excellent deal. This is going to get you into the wonderful world of proggies. And you're going to make that owl. This is an amazing deal, everyone. Saving £10. Even at 25 97 I think this is a great price. But what you've got here is a great detail. 463796 is your item number. Now, at the bottom of your screen, if you just want the owl on its own without the proggy tool kit... Uh, then that's £12.99. But I think for that extra £3, my word, be done. go for that kit. £15.97. 463796 is your item number. Now we've got a baby penguin. Penguins are always popular, aren't they? Um, penguins, snowmen, um, always popular. Any time of year, really. Beautiful penguin here. Um, I think as a doorstop, maybe in a bathroom. Yeah. Yeah. Or make a family of, and I think that I've got a slightly smaller one over here. Oh. A little family of penguins. Oh, that so would be cute. So lovely. Um, but they are just so, so soft. And to think that you're making this without stitching with any kind of thread, mm -hmm. without using a needle. So that poses the question, which I will ask do we need the proggy tools to make these? You don't necessarily need the proggy tools. The one thing that I would say that you do need is the poker. Right. Um, or something that you can use as a poker. Which is that, which you can purchase separately, yeah. I believe. Um, but actually, you don't necessarily need the tools to be able to do it. So I've cut my strips by hand rather than using the tool. Ah. Um, so you can do it without the tools. The tools just make your life easier. And for the price that you're getting them with the owl, I'd be ordering the owl and then multiple other kits because then I've got all the, all the gubbins. Um, the actual tool comes with the tool kit. So that is available for you as a tool kit. Or as Joe said, go for the owl. You've got the kit. You've got it there, ready to go. And then maybe add one of the other or two of the other or three of the other <laughs> uh, cute little proggies. Uh, £12.99, 468105 is your item number. Uh, next up, now it's not just cute animals that we've got for you on the show, and I'm not talking about myself. <laughs> uh, we have got some beautiful cushion covers or little mats, actually. I think that these, wouldn't they make amazing bath mats? Oh, and because yes. they're fleece, they're not going to absorb too much of the water, so it will dry yeah. off quite nicely. I think you need to put a, a non-slip backing on it, but yes. 
either as a bath mat or just a bedside rug to get out in the morning and put yeah. your toes into that because it's beautifully soft with it being the fleece and it's got quite a lot of depth to it about for so the dog. it would feel like real luxury the dog or the cat in their basket how looks mind you they might pull it apart but it ch it almost looks like somebody has got a bag of candy <laughs> And they've just pulled it all out with all the different colours that you've got there, all your hundreds and thousands. Uh, it's beautiful. Now, you get five pieces um, in this particular kit. So you get the cushion set, you're getting the heart, the square and the round uh, cushion set. And you're also getting the tool and the strips that you're getting with the owl. So let's bring those over because it's good to see what you're getting. There you go. So you're getting the tool kit. You're getting the round, the square and the love heart. It's a bit like play school, isn't it? <laughs> uh, and you're getting £10 off. It's a great deal. £43.95. 853175 is your item number. Now, if you want to go for some Hessian, we've also got that available for you. It's like going down on a helter skelter jar, isn't it? Do you remember <laughs> that? Potato in your sacks, Hessian absolutely. Sacks or the egg and spoon race. Um, we've got a huge piece for you here, 1.5 metres. It's pre cut, 9 99 saving £4 on that deal. That is superb. Right, Joe, let's have a demonstration. Let's have a look at progging. Okay, so. One of the one of the things with proggy is you need to really use a um, a fabric that's not going to fray, and that's why Haley always uses fleece. Um, you could probably use felt, um, maybe even some sort of the stuff that the baby's romper suits made out of that's that's really stretchy but doesn't doesn't fray. Yes, they would probably all work now. Um, I think that if we look on the website, we've got a selection of um, fleece there, pick yes. a mix, so you can pick all your different colours. Um, I've I, just picked out pink I, and purple. I think that pick a mix, you can choose three half metres. Which uh, is going to do you a, a lot. Which is a fabulous deal. For twelve ninety nine. Yeah. pick any three. Oh my word. Um, let's have a look at the options on the website. <laughs> um, and you choose your colours. You decide. Maybe you want to go for some autumn colours. Maybe you want to go for some summer colours. Maybe you've got your favourite colour there. Look at the leopard one. That is absolutely brilliant, isn't it? Love that. Uh, for making animals, for example. Or maybe some new cushions. Um, you've got the blue in there as well. It's so super soft. It's beautiful to work with as well and you get a really decent sized piece mm. which is your half a meter and you only need little strips you only need now I've, I've been told that mustard and gray are the colors for next year. are they the colors of the season so you need the cushion kit and yes. you need some mustard and gray then certainly don't you do certainly do oh it's, you know even if you're not using this for proggy and you're using it for something else like I mean I need a scarf so that's me done <laughs> That actually is me done. That's it. Where's my mic? I don't want to come off. But, you know, it's going to be cold tomorrow. I might get some snow. That's me done. And then maybe, maybe, um, you could go for a little hat. You could fold this over. So even if you're not progging, that's me done. Perfect for on the ski slopes. Absolutely. But going <laughs> home tonight or coming back tomorrow morning, I'm done. Anyway, let's do some progging. <laughs> Let's do some... Pro oh, I get three. Sorry, I get three. I'm being asked what I'm going to do with the third one. Do you know what? Here's my, here's my little blanket for the car, uh, but here's my tip for next year. My tip for next year is not hats. You know how it's warming up? Mm -hmm. But your peripherals? No. Your extensions? The things that stick out get cold, like your nose and your ears. I think... <laughs> earmuffs without the top is going to be the way to go so you're letting the heat out so of your head but heat, keeping your ears warm of your heat is lost sometimes it's too hot so uh, like a headband just 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 clearing my ear uh, just covering my ears so that's my three that's what i do uh, but you might be buying them to proggy with joe i'd quite like to make myself some proggy slippers i think oh, they'd yes. be quite cool little pixie proggy slippers oh, it's I think so, this be. fleece is so super soft i think I, I just you know what i might just go and buy some just okay. to make a scarf it is, and do you know what? It wouldn't take much making because it doesn't fray. No. Literally, what you've done is yeah. all you need to do. So, probably tools-wise, there is this smaller tool, which is the snip strip, and you've also got, which is over the back, a long tool that's got one, two, three, four. It's got about six strips that run across it. That is for using with a rotary cutter to cut your 
one centimeter strips. Now I've got one centimeter length. If I want to cut them down to make them into the right strips, what I need to do is to the the strip snip yep. has got a little gap. Okay. So you need to feed your fleece through and Hayley doesn't like wasting anything. So what she's done is if you feed your your fleece through the gap and just pop it up so that it's in line with the middle channel and then you wrap your fleece around this is how you make your five centimeter strips you could do this watching the telly this is ideal for watching the telly and kind of a bit of a family one as well because the, you, you can pick this up and put it down any time yeah. and not lose your place and know exactly where you are so once you've wrapped that all the way around to the end you need to go and get your scissors and you've got your gap here and you oh, go you're going to cut it i am i am top and bottom make sure that you've got both the top and the bottom and this is going to give you a pile of perfect oh look at that strips ready for doing your proggy with all the perfect size yeah that's all brilliant. done for you so you can you can go through and you can kind of cut them yourself or you can do the quick way if you've got the tools and you can create a pile of strips very very quickly and easy you know that they're all the right size yeah. could you go uncle. all the way along the tool uh, right to the end and yes. then cut all the way through wow yeah, yeah, so that's that's, that's a do. real good yeah. job done isn't it yeah absolutely and it would give you oodles of strips i've i've got a, a reasonable pile seven or eight strips there yeah but i still got loads loads left so you imagine with that pick and mix on the fleece my word yeah pick a mix half a meter um i mean just i'm not going to do the math but i think you guys can do that at home visually you're going for three of these and you pick a mix and you're mm -hmm. making um about an inch is it an inch and a it's, half yeah about an inch and a half wide wow. the strips so if you're using the um cutting tool yeah the rotary cutter as well will just cut you those perfect widths no, just like that so that is a tool 10 kit. minute job yeah that's a tool kit that we've got coming up we'll show you um so your fleece is going to go a long long absolutely, way absolutely yeah a, a really long way the other thing that's nice about it is there is nothing rough everything is quite smooth so the hessian is the roughest thing that you're going to use when you're yeah. using proggy but it's nice and soft everything else is soft so it's tactile so it's something that you can do easily with the kids and um, it's touchy feely as well as it being so it's a sensory thing as well as it being a craft it's quite relaxing sorry they've just got a shot of me <laughs> stroking myself i do <laughs> apologize at home um but it's it's just so soft i don't think i've ever felt fleece like it it's, it's beautiful. lovely isn't it it yeah. really, really is. Just want some now. <laughs> so, dead easy. I just realised that I, I'd missed a bit of a strip. So, when you buy the kits, what you're going to get is... Which way up am I? There we yeah, go. Yeah, that's fine. So, you're going to get your instructions. And if you flip over to the back, beautifully done, step by step photos as well as written ones i always do better with photos yes i i will read the first couple of words of an instruction oh i'm off on the horizon and then i'm yeah i'm yeah. doing my own thing after that so pictures always good the basics of proggy are along the top yep and then with each of the kits you'll have a different set of photos for whichever project it is that you're doing and i do believe there's a video on youtube of our hayley um doing a little bit of progging yeah there is i actually watched hayley's videos this afternoon just Aww. to just to refresh my head yeah. so the other thing that you'll get in your kit is your pattern so i've picked up the um baby penguin pattern just so that I can show you how you start things off so as you can see on the printed pattern you've got a dotted line around the outside edge and then a solid line around the inside edge when you lay your hessian which if you buy in a kit your hessian will come with the kit can you pick that up on camera just yeah we can just see about that. so what you do is you put your hessian down onto your pattern I'll put my specs on so I can see as well and you basically transfer your pattern onto your hessian just use any old um, pen or crayon that you've got doesn't matter because this is all going to be hidden once you start doing your I think this is a really nice introduction work. to the craft of proggy because like you say you can, you can make bath mats uh, I've seen rugs 
yeah. in this particular style, which would take a little bit longer, but it is, again, something you can do, something luxurious to put your feet on. So this could be the very start of your craft with Proggy, it really could. Yeah, yeah. A, whole, a whole new world of, of crafting. So, with the magic of TV, here is a template that was transferred on Tessian earlier by Hayley for yes. another project. Um, now, one of the things that you need to do with Proggy is you need to secure your edges. Okay. So the first thing that you're going to do, you don't want all of this extra material. So I'm just going to trim around this a bit. Now, if I'd have done this from the pattern, I would have probably had maybe an inch gap all the way around. But I'm just going to give this a quick trim so that I've got a bit of shape. And then you can keep all your extra pieces of Hessian for your MDF projects. Yeah, use them in all your mixed media projects, which I'm sure that you can probably guess is exactly what I'm going to be doing. Now, with Proggy, you're always working from the back as well. Okay. So it's, um, it feels a bit strange because you're working from the back, but you'll see the reason why. So what you need to do is you need to secure all of your seams initially. And the way to do that is to just finger press around your borderline and then every now and then you're going to put a proggy stitch in to secure it. So turn around so that you've got the, the back of your project facing you and fairly close to the edge, poke a hole. And you can be quite vicious with this, quite a large hole for your proggy. And another handy hint and tip that Hayley gave me was poke through the corner of your piece of fleece. You pull that through and then about three, two or three strands of um, hessian along, poke another hole, and that is where you poke, oh, there we go, not taking, not taking Haley's advice and not doing the corner. You poke the next piece through, and that stitch will actually secure your edge of your pattern down at that that's the first proggy stitch i love that my first bit of proggy i'm doing a purple fish here from the looks of things which could be quite interesting well, it could be, but, but it's why going to be not fantastic. why not so what i would do is i would just go around and do a few of those stitches around the edge before you start working on your main pattern and then it starts to come together very very quickly now we do I... say that there, there is no uh, cotton used i've got a fish which i think is from the pattern that joe mm -hmm. has is is working on um, and I want to show you this because these don't pull out so no. we saw that stitch but there's nothing like uh, any cotton to keep it in the way that this is put together it doesn't come out I mean um, maybe if you give it a huge yank but I'm giving this quite a tug and you can see how fantastic that is and that is a gorgeous cute little fish he's lovely he's lovely he's a little clownfish as well so he's done in the proper colors as well um, but yeah, it doesn't pull out. And the reason for that is you're poking a hole. So you're widening the gap between the threads of the hessian. As soon as you've put your fleece back through and re-stretched your fabric, those bits of hessian thread are going to come back together and they pinch wow. around the fleece. And because the fleece is, like you say, it's quite thick and luxurious, yeah. that grips it in and it's not going anywhere. Isn't it clever? It is very, very it clever, is isn't really, it? really, really clever. Um, and I think once you start your journey with Proggy, you'll start to think of all different things that you can make freestyle if you were to buy a piece of Hessian, as long as you've got the tools, the right tools, whether you're going for the Proggy tools we've got available, um, <coughs> excuse me, you can actually go freestyle and make your own um, projects. Can I just show everyone at home a couple of these, Joe, if you don't mind? Some I think of these, these are, are brilliant. Do you know what? I don't want to take this. This fleece is so warm. <laughs> Um, that is an absolute bargain, pick and mix any three. So, using the fleece, using some hessian, here's a bag. Doesn't that look good? Oh, sorry, that, you're not going to see it like that, are you? There you go. Oh, look, the little sheep on it. The little sheep on it. Oh, that is lovely. And has that been made using proggy? That looks like it's been made using um, roving wool. So it's Ooh. the same principles. But I think that what they've just used is roving wool to poke through the holes instead of fleece. Aww. But yeah, it gives you a, a really good effect, doesn't it? So you've got these little clouds at the top, which are lovely, and they've been progged as well. Then we've got another bag to show you, 
which is here, which is full on proggy. Um, let's take that one off. These are great. And because the fleece is lightweight, so is the bag as well. I mean, this looks like it should be heavy, Jo. Yeah. Um, but it's nice and lightweight, nice and colourful as well. And, well, fleece dries really quickly. So if you go out in a thunderstorm with this, it will dry very, very quickly. It will, yeah. It's not gonna. It's not gonna hold the moisture. It's gonna dry off nice and quickly and look really, really good. And it'll keep the things inside it dry as well because you've got a good thickness. Do you know even the of fabric there. You know even the backside of the proggy. That would make a nice little uh, rug, would it not? Oh, this is one of the things that I really, really like about proggy. Actually, is I think that the patterns that you get in the back are sometimes as interesting as the patterns in the front and it's all about the different effects so just the basic proggy stitch yeah will give you this kind of slightly bobbly pattern on the back and it gives you your your proggy effect at the front i can probably show you slightly better on this one which is oh yes had a lot more done yeah now you can make this a feature so yeah. if you wanted to have different texture showing in your proggy you wow. can have some of this at the front yes. in between your your kind of standard fluffy proggy. Well, There's yeah. a couple of other stitches as well that, that can be used with proggy as well, which are, are quite nice if you want to get slightly different effects. So if I can get this right, so the first one is just a basic effectively what you would what you would do as a running stitch now you've you not cut that one down Jo. no and that's done on purpose because and, and this, this will also come into play the longer pieces when you are putting your finished project together okay because you want to use a long strip so that you're going from one section to the other and pulling it clear so what i'm doing here is literally a running stitch and it's just me getting my sides right so go about three holes along and take the end of my strip now this is a craft i think that you could do like you say with younger members of the family or or have younger members of the family around you because you aren't using any needles any thread to make it you know an unsafe environment you still have to be careful of course whatever it is that you're using um, but it is something that perhaps younger members of the family could use, especially yeah. with the tools that you get. Well, I, I struggle sometimes with my hands. Sometimes I get a little bit arthritic -y in my hands and I struggle to um, kind of like those finer movements or to grip things. Yeah. The way that the tools build, it actually nestles quite nicely into the palm of your hand mm. and it's easy. It's quite ergonomically done. So you're it's nice to hold if it was any longer you wouldn't be able to get that push yeah but if you look at what I'm doing now I'm doing effectively just basic stitches with my fleece yeah um, which just look like little pom-pom bobbles now you can then go in between these with a different color um, but you can use these to create a border if you're doing one of the cushions you can have just bobbles as your border. And you can, of course, mix and match your colours as well. You, yeah. If you are making um, one of the like, little mini rug or you're making a bag or something like that, you can mix your colours up. Um, even on something like uh, this beautiful turtle, uh, <laughs> that's mixing up the colours and they're beautiful bright colors you can see now the different styles of maybe little toys that you can make uh, lots of potential to this as well with the cute little creatures uh, that are available or you might just want to do a little bit of freestyling yourself but it's the proggy texture that you like and adore we've got lots of different kits available for you you can have a look on the website as well uh, and just bring this one in because this is really funky you've got this bee here look at that isn't that good uh, now we've got some more to show you we've got a, tris a christmas tree kit oh, a bit difficult for me to say it's a <laughs> tristan key kit uh, right there you go um, you get your hessian your fleece your templates and your bonus strip uh, snip tool so 26 pounds and 97 pence the tree is behind joe uh just there with the little star on top i mean that is that's a tree that's going to last you solid but you know what's really really good about it go on packs flat 
Who? It packs flat. Oh. So you've not got to stash a whole tree in your loft all over winter. You can just fold it flat, um, pack it down. That's and it. You, you could quite literally screw it up in a ball. Yes. Fleece doesn't crease. No. No, so, you're right. That's why, poet that's, as that's well. why I love my fleecy clothes. Yep, yeah, yeah um, no ironing involved. You could turn that into a cushion, actually, when it's not Christmas. How about, how about a little wreath? Look at that, uh, which is fabulous. Um, and again, the other side still looks as good. We've got some more projects for you. We'll change the details on the screen. We've got 12 projects for you. Uh, now, you have to get your own fleece, but we do have a pick and mix available for you. You get the tool, uh, the, do you get the snip and the tool? Just the snip. So you get the snip, nine, oh dear me, a 19 pounds and 98 pence. You get the fish, the sheep, the puppies, um, you get the ladybird in there, you get a pig, you get a fox, you get the wreath that I just showed you, the square cushion and the Christmas tree. That is an absolute bargain and you get the strip snip. You don't get the snip, you get the strip <laughs> snip. Uh, 541099 is your item number and you're saving £24.89. That is a huge saving and some would say a leap in the right direction. A leap, a, a leap in the right direction. Very good. Right it, right it, right it. Um, that is gorgeous. Little frog there for you. Uh, beautiful. Love, absolutely love these. Now seeing you demonstrate it, I'm starting to think of all the different projects that you could start to make and create. Or just use it for embellishments. Yeah, and I do think it's say, a safe one to do with kids. And... I think with the, with the um, patterns, we got it's a pick and mix we've got today, isn't it? Where you get a, a multiple amount of patterns. Yes. Once you it's a whole set, 12, yeah. 12, 12 wow. patterns. Yeah, for nineteen pounds and ninety eight pence. And once you've sat and done these with children and yes. they've understood the principles of how you put them together, they're going to be able to start creating their own things. Yeah. So they might want. A, a, have we got a proggy cat? Um, you know, they we might have. Do, have we got one? Well, I've got a proggy, proggy dog, proggy dog. I think that that's definitely a proggy pug. I think it could be a proggy pug as well. <laughs> <laughs> Love. Do you know what? I'm loving the pug. <coughs> We've got a cat as well on set. Have we got a cat? We are keeping them apart. The cat, the dog, <laughs> and the bird are being kept far apart, so everything is all right. Now the kitten is in this item number we're seeing on the screen at the moment. Next to the cat is a seal. Next to the seal is a badger, and in the background, I think I can get round here safely, in the background for all you dogs at home, squirrel. Squirrel, <laughs> there he is. He's got his little nut there, all ready to go to bury in the soil for winter, so he can come and get it again. This, this is what they do. <laughs> no, it's what they do. They put they put their nut in the soil and they pad 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 it down. They run away and then when they're hungry, they run back and they get the nut out. And they eat it. That's what they do. I've watched I've watched squirrels, uh, which is brilliant. It says yes, it is like when you go sail shopping, you hide it in a shelf and go back for it. <laughs> I thought that was just me. I thought that was just me. So you've got lots of different animals. Uh, what else have we got here? Um, we've got a little rabbit, little bunny rabbit, which is so cute, so sweet, so beautiful. And the rabbit is under this item number as well. And we've got a sheep. Um, there you go. And the sheep was in the first item number. Oh, look, uh, with the set of 12. Big savings on the... Oh, what if we could make and sell? I think so. I think that there's not... Yeah. There, there, there's no... Um, there's no restrictions yeah and of course everyone's going to turn out slightly different anyway they are so yeah. they're not whilst your basic design might be there i would be doing a multi-colored sheet yeah. and i would be doing um on the parrot i'd be doing bright pink and purple oh. you know you can do anything that you want or just the totally mixed up sets as well that you do the cushions with i think that they're great they are now i know it's christmas joe <laughs> but can we just have a look behind you because i think someone's had a few oh. too many sherries at christmas time uh maybe the mixed pies were laced with brandy um let's let's take a look at um <laughs> what what they can are. they fly to you? Uh, no, they can't fly oh, to me, allowed. but they can stay with you. 
Um, there we go. So we've got the duck. I believe that some of these have actually got names. If you've got on the back of their their patterns, I know that my baby penguin was called Susie, apparently. Susie. Yeah. Oh. And I think it might have been Freddy the fox. But we have another little doggy here. Oh. Clearly called Patch because he's got a patch on his face. Oh. And then a seal. And a seal. Oh, look at that baby seal. Oh. So he's not he's drunk. He was. He's just having a sleep. Just having a small snooze. Aww, and and the duck. They're He's these, fabulous. And they don't take a long time to make. Um, no. And they're going to be easy to make as well. Sorry, Joe, I've interrupted your demonstration again. I do apologise, but these are just so super cute. We just had to show them at home, which is brilliant. Um, so back to you, Joe. Sorry. So just another, um, again, I love the idea of making all of the animals with proggy but i really like the idea of doing my own sorts of designs yeah um so i can either do the standard proggy stitch which i've shown you this um running stitch which effectively makes almost like little bobbles yeah i like that and then the other one that um and again this is all from watching Haley. the other one is one whereby you push through she says that's make the hole slightly bigger so you push through but you leave the loop through now I just managed to get myself if that makes sense yes so the next one I think I'm working back to front the next one I put my next hole in and then push through again but leave it as a closed loop. So rather than it being the open ends of the strips, yeah. you've got closed loops and that gives you a slightly different sort of texture again. That gives you a, a smoother rather than a more raggedy texture. Got you. I like that. So there's lots of different techniques that you can use. So, yes, yeah, several different ways that you can use it and different effects that you can create so if you were doing this on a cushion yes. or as a piece of of proggy art mm, well I'm you can get different art, textures all just kinds behind you, there's a, a cushion i was just looking at that with the c um the c scene and yeah. you've got the c hut that c hut the beach hut i'm trying to say and you've got the different effects on that so you can see how you can start to build a picture um, very, very easily. So now you're thinking about the different scenes, for example, that you can make and create, like hills mm -hmm. and sea. Um, yeah, you, you, you're colouring with the fleece, which is brilliant. Yeah. The owl is popular. Is the it? owl is popular. Uh, we'll bring the details up. Nearly half the stock is gone. I think this is superb value for money at £15.97. You are getting the tools that come with this so that you can start to make and create. So you get the snip strip. Let me just turn that the right way. That's the snip strip. Very, very easy to use. You wrap your fleece around, 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 and then you take your pair of scissors and you cut all along there, making equal lengths of your proggy strips. And then you've got your proggy tool, uh, and that will take it through the hessian for you. So no cotton or needles required. Um, and the owl has this beautiful fleece, which is the leopard skin fleece, uh, which you don't actually see at first. But I think that is a great idea because what you've got now is the texture or the colouring of like a barn owl. What a clever, clever idea from Hayley. Uh, you also get the safety eyes included and the hessian. This is an absolute bargain, £15.97. We've got um, the owl as a puppet. We don't have a name for the owl. We need a name for the owl. Um, this, we've got this as a puppet. I've got my hand up in. Um, but you could put peas in here, you could put uh, <laughs> lavender, make it a doorstop, for example. Um, or you can make it a cute little uh, tea toilet roll holder. That would be a good idea. Oh, in your bathroom. Not a holder, but to put, put over the toilet paper. You could maybe do a lighthouse or something. I know a lot of people have nautical bathrooms. You can make a lighthouse quite easily with your proggy and have that as your toilet roll. What a great Tidy. idea. Just don't get the two mixed up, what if you do? <laughs> that wouldn't be good. That would not be good. Uh, not a good use for the owl. Um, he's beautiful. He really, really is. He's so super soft. £15.97. Absolute bargain. Now, 
We are in pantomime season and they are saying behind you and I am moving back. Shall I pick this up? No, I'm going to leave it where it is. I'm going to stand behind it. Now I need to come back. Sorry. And come back. I just need to grab that. Sorry, everybody. Right. Now I'm here. £17 saving. It's £15.99, pence. you can see there on your screens. And this gives you where well, you've got your big cutting board. So you can put your um, fleece around there. Is it a bigger no, setup? How would you use that? That one, you put your fleece flat on the table underneath it. Yeah. Lay that on top yep. from top to bottom. And the fleeces, I believe, is it half metre lengths of fleece yes. that you're getting? So the full length of that is just under half a metre. Ah. So you lay that flat on top of your fabric and then you get your rotary cutter and you run that up each of those channels. Yes. And that gives you your one and a half inch long strips. I see. Yes, because the the distance between that cut and that cut is your, is one, your one and a half centimetres or, or half an inch or thereabouts. I think that's brilliant. What yeah. a great tool to have. And uh, like I'll show you right now, I've got a bit of fleece here. Let's pop that on there. This is great. You could you you could actually use this for all hello all kinds of different projects as well. Yeah. So let's pop that on there. There you go. So that's it. Really easy rotary tool. Be careful when you're using it. All the way down there. All the way down there. All the way down there, and there's your strips. What a great idea. Again, you can use that for other projects. Um, the fleece is on a pick and mix, so you get that particular tool. You also get your strip snip, the one that we demonstrated with Joe, so you get that as well. And you get your proggy tool as well for £15.99. Right, let's head back to Joe and see some more demonstrations. So I'm literally, I'm just kind of carrying on with what I was doing on here just to show you the different effects that the different, let's just whip that out from underneath me, the different effects that the different sorts of stitches, and there are probably a lot more stitches, but the different effects that you'll get. So you'll get the bobbly effect, yep. which is just doing a running stitch. Yep. And if you wanted to, you could do another running stitch just alongside it so yep. that it alternated with your little coloured bobbles. Yeah. Then you've got a loop stitch. So with this one, that's with your continuous piece of thread or continuous piece of of fleece. Now, one of the things um, that you need to be slightly careful of with this is, if I were to pull this now, my loops would just all undo all the way across. Okay. So what you always need to make sure, if you're doing something with one long piece, is that your last, um, your last poke is at the front. Perfect. <laughs> okay. Perfect. So I can f think of any other way to describe it. There's so, no other way to say it. So your last piece of fleece always poke to the front. And that way, I'll show you in a second once I've pulled that through. So if I then pull this, yep. none oh, of those stitches it. are going. It secures it and it stops it coming apart. Yeah. So many different techniques that you can use building pictures on your Hessian, making these beautiful little creatures as gifts for people or for yourself. And what a lovely craft to start with, it really is. Now, um, the kits that we have for you on the show have full instructions inside. Uh, they've also got your template in there, so there's your, that's your template for your hedgehog. And then you've got your full instructions and with these, you'll see here with the instructions, you've got the pictures, which makes it really easy to follow. And then you've got your pictures and text down the side. So you can follow it just the pictures if you want to. And there is also a video on YouTube of our Haley putting together uh, the principles of Proggy. You can also watch this show again. So if you want to go for Graham the Hedgehog, you can call him anything you like. Nine pounds and ninety-nine pence. Eight six one nine four two. We do have a bundle with the Hedgehog and the Fox, which I think is super value for money. And it comes with a proggy tool and the strip snip as well. So it's one proggy tool and your strip snip. 
25 pounds and 95 uh, sorry 96 pence it's a great deal the fox is so cute his nose is a bit twisted there but don't hold that against him he's been sniffing around the chickens all day so his nose is a bit crooked uh, 881920 is your item number if you want to go for the fox and your hedgehog which is a great little starter kit i really do believe so uh, the penguin busy 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 for the penguin on oh, is it just so super cute isn't he really soft to the touch you could turn him into a little doorstop if you want to you could hollow him out you could make him into a little holder for something if you want a pencil case 12 pounds and 99 pence 468105 is your item number start with a penguin and then who knows where you'll go with your progging you might end up putting together a nice little mat a little bath mat uh, right oh he's getting himself into a little flap you stay there now the owl is brilliant because the fleece that you're getting with the owl is uh, a leopard skin. Oh, it's not leopard skin, it's leopard um, pattern prints. It's not leopard skin. Oh, my goodness, I'll close this down immediately. And I'd, I'd throw myself in prison for that. I really would. Uh, no, this is the print. This is the print. But what's really clever, what's really clever about this is that your owl really looks beautifully coloured like a barn owl, doesn't it? Purely by using that pattern. Isn't that clever? Uh, so you get your hessian, um, all of the fleece that you need, and with this kit, for £15.97, you get your tools as well. So you've got your strip snip and your proggy tool, which is great, isn't it? 463796, complete kit, um, just need some scissors and you're ready to go. That is excellent value for money. Now, the cushion kits we've got available for you, uh, we've got a set of three. So you can make uh, a square cushion, you can make a heart, boom, 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 and you can make um, a circle, which is brilliant. Now, what we get in this particular kit is you get your, you get the strip snip. Let me bring that snip trip. I'm having difficulty saying that tonight. Strip snip, strip snip, proggy tool, and all three cushions. So we get the hessian. And we get, what, what fleece do we get? Fleece fabric, but it will be multicoloured fabric to make those. Okay, so you get the multicoloured fleece. We just don't have it on the counter here, but um, it will look like that when you've created it, hopefully, fingers crossed, but I'm sure it will, in a manner of speaking. 43 pounds, I'm only going with what I've got. 43 pounds <laughs> and 95, there you go. We've got the pinks, the reds, the blues, the whites, uh, beautiful colours there. Three full kits. 853 175 is your item number. There you go. Right, we've got six and a half minutes left of the show, Joe. Shall I just show you the snips, uh, strip snip yeah, again? Exactly, it, it is difficult, strip, isn't it? Snip. I've just been thinking as well while you were looking at those cushions, the round one, I could just, I had visions of making a beret. Oh, yes. I don't, yeah. That would that would be really nice. You could wear that as a as a just because nice... you were talking about keeping your ears warm with your fleece. Yeah. A nice a nice um, multicoloured beret like to keep your head warm. <laughs> uh, or like a yeah, like a like a little ah, little hat. On to, oh, that'd be nice. I think it's lacking a pom pom, but we can make a proggy pom pom. We could. I'm make sure a, we could. We could make a proggy pom pom. <laughs> um, it, but it's the fleece that's so super soft. Uh, right. Let's have a look at the tools, Joe. Sorry, slight diversion there. So, snip strip, really simple tool. Circle at one end. That's where you're going to put your scissors in, to make sure that you've got your scissors either side. Slit at this end. Pop your fleece through and take your fleece. Can you just see there? I'm right. My, my fleece is in the middle of the yeah. line. Brilliant. And then you wrap. Let's go for it. Let's wrap plenty of this purple. So you literally wrap all the way along. And what this is going to do, don't try not to stretch it too much. Okay. Um, because fleece is quite stretchy. I'm again, I'm not going to go all the way along because I want to save myself a long piece just in case I need anything more of that. And once you've gone all the way along, I'm going to trim and with that. And the strip itself, can it be any size or do you have to cut it to a particular size? Approximately five centimetres by a centimetre, approximately. But again, you don't need to remember it because Hayley's put it all on your instructions so for you. So a centimetre in width? She's, yeah, she's actually got a picture 
on the um, oh. doodad. What's the, what's one of these called? Instructions. Instructions. There you That's go. the it's word. On the doodad, <laughs> she's got a little picture in the top corner, and that tells you the actual size of the strip. Now that. these that strips great. have been cut using the tools. Yes. And they are exactly, wow, exactly the right size. If you wanted to go for that big tool kit that will cut those strips perfectly, the strip cutter. Why is it so difficult to see <laughs> these? It's the word strip in front of everything. Try it at home. It's very difficult. Uh, strip cut strip chopping board. You put that word in front of anything, I'm sure you'll all struggle. Uh, this is your strip cutter. If you want to go for this uh, with the proggy tool and the strips... Oh my <laughs> word, uh, $15.99, that is a great, let me just think back, that is a great um, price and it will get you the exact cutting, it's a £17 yeah. saving. Uh, again, these are the right tools for a brand new craft for you. So back to Joe. we've wrapped it around. So it wrapped around and then literally blades of your scissors, top and bottom, so you're cutting through both bits of fabric and again I could probably do with better scissors than this, but there we go, within no time at all you have all of your strips now it probably to 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 do enough strips if you've got the tools for our dog yeah you're probably only talking about 10 15 minutes of prep time if you've got a rotary cutter oh yeah it'd be quick really wouldn't yeah. take long to have a massive pile of strips and then you can literally just sit and it is it's a telecraft yeah, it's it the is. kind of things that you don't need to focus on too much it doesn't take too much of your attention but the product that you get in the end i'm just squish, squishing this little yeah. puppy and he's so cute and what's nice so soft once you've cut all those strips especially if you're going for that pick and mix on the fleece once you've cut all your strips you could have them in colour uh, baskets and you could make that rug imagine imagine this as a huge rug in your home it will take some to make mm. it but what a labour of love you may have yeah. seen these in shops and they can be very very expensive uh, but you now can make your own um, and you could do that over the next couple of months if you want to you can go for the kits you can start where you mean to go on so you can have a play with the kits and you make and create some amazing little um, friends if you want to or you you can go for that uh cush the square the circle and the heart kits now uh what are we going to show next sorry <laughs> Ah, the bundle of the patterns. Yes, this is excellent value for money. Uh, £19.98, saving £24.89. That's amazing. So you're getting the sheep, the fish, the ladybird, the, the puppy, the pig, the fox, the wreath, square cushion, Christmas tree. You get the sailboat, the waves, and the proggy bag. Oh, my word. Um, they're brilliant and you get the snip strip as well that is excellent value for money and you can make a lot of beautiful presents and um, there's your proggy bag that you could make they I really like these bags they're really nice they're aren't they I great aren't they aren't they fabulous you can make a hat and a scarf to go with these uh, your proggy cushion make one of those a wreath as well to make one of those little puppy dog little puppy dog uh, your fish oh that is marvelous but you do need to get the, the um, fleece to go with it so check out that pick and mix that's available to you at an incredible price on the pick and mix and it's so super soft it really is and you can choose um, hello <laughs> you can choose uh, three colors uh, I'm going to go for the green, the mustard and the blue. So super soft. We've got 45 seconds left of the show. Just to give you an idea of the pick and mix, there it is. Joe, have you enjoyed learning Proggy? I have, but I want to go away and play now. I want to go and do some designing of things and see what I can come up with oh, myself. I well, it's when are we going to see you again? I don't know. Hopefully fairly soon. Um, I know that Hayley's keeping super busy trying to sit encourage me to do fabric crafts so right. um, well, we shall see you've proved yourself as a proggier i can proggy a proggiest a proggier a really a good proggy pro proggist pro proggist oh, who that's knows a, that's a good one uh joe it's been lovely to see you have a great new and year you. and we'll you. see you very soon please do check out your baskets i'm going to snuggle up with a few bits of fleece and an owl 
Right, we've got All and Create, the Big Save One Day special next for you. We've got Storage Happy Hour after that. And then we're back to All and Create with that one day special. My name's Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp, and uh, how did I get here? Well, when my children, Grace and Mark, were born, I left the corporate world and I took up crafting full-time. Then I had a moment of clarity, if you'll pardon the pun, and I came up with the transparent art stamp. And the rest is history, really. For the last 27 plus years, I've been pioneering the art of transparent stamping. I love teaching. For me, it's all about that. And so working with Hochanda is fantastic because it gives me the perfect platform to reach out and work with uh, like-minded people and to be able to show um, some of the tricks that I've learned along the way. If you like my style and you like what I do, then please join me, Barbara Gray, on Hochanda. Hi, I'm Gina Barrett from Gina B Silkworks. We're a family company specializing in traditional crafts for the modern maker. Most of our products involve textiles and age-old techniques from button making, lace making, weaving, and other forms of passamentary. I hope you'll be able to tune in to the Gina B Silkworks shows here on Hochanda. Hi, I'm Matthew Palmer, professional artist with the SAA, the UK's largest and friendliest art community. The SAA exists to inform, encourage and inspire all who want to paint, and that's exactly what you'll learn to do with me as your teacher. As a self-taught artist of 30 years ago, I know the challenges of a white piece of paper and learning how to paint, but with me, Achanda and the SAA, I'll show you how easy watercolour painting really is. I'm here on a chandy because I want to show you my watercolour painting techniques and I want to get you over that white paper fear and get you started and develop your watercolour painting. So whether you're a beginner or an advanced artist, I've got some fantastic watercolour techniques that will get you started and take you even further on your watercolour journey. So join me, Matthew Palmer, for my shows on a chandy. Hi, I'm Abs from Orange Create. I've been crafting for over 10 years now and I love stamping, stenciling, creating layers, of colors, textures and creating depth and dimension. Orange Create was established in October 2016, collaborating with a group of designers and artists from all over the world, bringing different designs and products in different styles. We proud ourselves of high quality photopolymer clear stamp sets, dyes, stencils, washi tapes and acrylic blocks, all in different size and formats. In my shows at Hachanda, I hope to bring you inspiration and different ways of using your craft products. Make sure you don't miss the Orland Create shows on Hachanda.
A very good evening to you. Oh, if you could have seen the chaos that was uh, just erupting here in the studio a second ago. This is the second live hour, of course, for the new one day special. We launched at six o'clock. It's all in creative, of course. Before we meet Abs, our wonderful guests, of course, I'm going to tell you, we did sell out of the one day special during the launch show. I'll come back to that because we've got an alternative for you. But I've got to say a very good evening again to Abs, of course, who is here, all prepped and ready to go with his demonstrations. Abs, you look like you're going to be very busy this hour. Very, very busy. A lot of fussy cutting, a lot of die cards, and a lot of messy paints. <laughs> oh, can't wait. Cannot wait. Now, as I said, we did sell out the one-day special, but we do have a while stops last. So let's have a little look at what we've got here for you. Now, this is a beautiful bundle. It really is. Now, first of all, you can see you've got stencils, <coughs> and we've got two of them. I'm going to show you them both. I'll show you them individually, and then I will put them together as well. <laughs> because, of course, we've got this beautiful, large butterfly. Abs, once again, the detail in this is just exceptional. It is. Um, they are amazing. And usually when you see the stencils, you don't have that much details because, like, they're intricate in there. But these stencils here, you have so many. As I said before, you don't have to use it as a butterfly. You can pick a section you want. You can go with the flower. You can go with the doodly. It looks like a mandala at some point yeah, in the definitely. middle there where it gets to the left. Um, and they really like all those details. You can use them in traditional way. You can spray ink you can um, do texture paste you can uh, yeah I'll show you here Catherine the second size a smaller version of it again virgin details you can do texture paste like I did in my first demo so if you miss it you can always watch them rewind and or you can just um, go with um, your jelly plate and create those beautiful yeah you can see the difference in the size here you can use both in one project to have that nice construct or what you can do also is you can use the main butterfly deck out the second one and then put it on the top to have kind of two yeah. weeks on the top of each other and it gives you a nice oh, 3D um, effect. Beautiful. Now we do have more because we've got the two stencils as you've seen there and then of course we've got this beautiful stamp for you as well. Let's have a close look at this. We've got some samples to show you as well. Stunning, absolutely stunning. So much detail in here. You've got some lovely sentiments as well. And not too difficult to cut out if you want to cut them out no, as so, well. No, so, well, easy to cut out. The second one has all those um, elements, background and the elements. For me, as I said before, I do not cut this element because I just cut the main flowers from that second one and then just um, stick them on the top to have that 3D um, nice effect. Wonderful. And we also have some washi tape for you as well. Now, this is a plain washi tape, but that doesn't mean that it's going to remain plain. I know, Abs, you cannot wait to show us what you can do <laughs> I cannot this. wait. But if you want to keep it plain, because we, all, we do have a lot of washi tapes printed and nice decorated. But this one, when you do nice accordions or nice journals, you can join two or three pages together using that plain one. So you don't have to um, incorporate like different colors or different textures to the um, project. And then you can stamp it, you can paint it, you can apply a layer of gesso and then do whatever you want as well or you can do um, if you don't want to lose that cream natural color of the washi tape you can go with um, clear gesso yes and then clear gesso you don't lose the color and then do whatever you want on the top now I'm just showing some samples as well from the one day special I do have to sort of sort through these a little bit because of course we sold out of the one day special this is why the stocks last so you can see I'm picking out the, the details here in the cards that I'm showing you using the items that are in the uh, the current bundle that we've got on offer you can see there straight away with the large stencil there not the entirety of used but teaming with other stamps and other stencils other yeah. mediums that we've got as well you get the most perfect results don't you now we are busy again on already on this one item number 722905 I'm just going to pick up as many samples as I can just to show you this right now as I give you those details but we do have lots more on offer as well because it was so busy on the first hour I do have to repeat what I have to keep saying to you do not hesitate if you like what you see do make sure you check those baskets out because things have a tendency to jump out if you're not quick enough or also sell out of course as well as we found in the earlier show yeah and just to add something um between the shows i got a lot a lot of messages catherine people messaging me about the show thank you for all the messages oh, i'm glad wonderful. you liked the show and the demos but also many people told me oh we got it because we missed 
on the ODS and it sold out. But what I can tell you, you did not miss 100% because the wild stock class really, really has a good value um, for money. But also you have those nice, beautiful stencils. You still have a large stamp set. You have the washi tape. So it's um, it's a complete bundle. You can you still have the complete bundle. I know you missed on small butterfly, but you st but see the possibilities that you can do with the rest. And to be honest, yeah. I'm happy that we have the wild stock class because all my other demos are sorted with using the large stencils and the border stem set and the washi tape, the plain one, that amazing. has a lot of possibilities. So even the wild stock class is an amazing bundle. If you want to <laughs> grab it because it's, you told me it's busy. <laughs> <laughs> it was busy. We're busy from the go again. Let's give those details one last time then tell you about some of the things we've got. 722-905 is, of course, the item number. You've got a £12 save and we're still, we've still got that event going on, the big save event. So you will expect those savings, £24 and 27 pence for the whole bundle. Now, we've got another happy hour deal for you. The last time, the, the launch show, we had a very, very lovely bundle, and it flew. It absolutely flew, but we've got a completely different one. These are Janet Klein stamps again. Oh, I just adore these. And we've got a, a lovely bundle, four A7 stamps. These are all good things. Play ball, go fish, and oh boy. In fact, you've got 20 stamps in total amongst those four sets there. Do not miss out on this one, a £10 saving, but you must check those baskets out before the top of the hour. There we are. We'll give you one or two reminders of those during the show as well. Gorgeous. Now, we have got stencils as well and something that remains popular. And this particular set has been around for some time now, but already half the stock has gone once again. Every time we bring these to you, they just fly, don't they, Abs? I can't believe it. Trust me. I still cannot believe it. Oh, I do the adore these. Is, and the funny thing is, when I designed this stencil, like it's been like more than like a year and a half, nearly two years yeah. now. When I designed, I love circus. I was so um, pleased with the result. But I was thinking like, mm, would people like it? Because there's so many circles and um, stencils in the market. I know I did something different. I need some I did proportions to my different size, but I was thinking like, would it be popular? I'm not sure. But and then I said, I like it. I can use it. So I really want it. I cannot believe how stiff popular it is <laughs> since we lost. You know, if you're not sure about this, go for it. I can promise you, you will not be disappointed. Now, you're getting both the A4 and the 6x6 there. I'm just going to show you one or two samples as well. Look at the difference in the samples as well. What you can create with these stencils. 929, oh, I've got it upside down, haven't I? There we are. 929-919 is the item number. Do you know, look at that one there. That one is by, I think, yes, Debbie did this one. And in complete contrast, if I show you what Jo has done with hers, just as wonderful, but completely different. Love the effect there that you've seen in the background. And another one, again, this one here from Amanda. Look at that. I mean, there's real texture to the background in those colours. You can achieve looks like this and much more besides. 929919. £3 saving on those. Now, the same sort of principle, but this time we've got the triangles for you. And we have got a little stamp involved in this one as well. Two-thirds of the stock has gone. You're loving this one as well. Wait until you see the samples for this. I'm blown away with one in particular. Now, there is the A4 stencil. Let me just bring in the 6x6 as well. Of course, you've got the same detail, but it's on a smaller scale, so you get a completely different look there. And then the stamp itself, if I just show you the actual size of the stamp as well. So we'll give this one a little spin round so you can see exactly what you're getting for your money. There we are. Beautiful. Let's have a look at these samples as well. Very different in design again. So first of all, you can see using your know, various different elements that you may have already in your stash or you've purchased before from All and Create. Lots of lovely colours in that one. Staying with those sort of colours, but a completely different card here. Love the effect of this one. Lots of dimension in there as well, if I turn that to around. Do you know, I need to turn them around every which way, don't I? I keep getting them upside down. Do you know, it's so funny. I'm going to let you into a secret. Abs, I can just see my the camera is going like this. <laughs> I was trying to drive a car at first. It's like, no, Catherine, you've got that upside down. Make sure this one's right, though. That is genius. Really, really love that. And then, of course, we've got this one by Janet. And if you didn't see the earlier show, abs, I just can't take my eyes off that. I think I know, it's wonderful. I know. They're amazing. And yeah, they're all amazing. Like she did, as I told you, with the hexagon circles, not circles, squares, hexagon triangles. They're amazing. That's a masterpiece for me. <laughs> it really pizza. is. And I said earlier, and I'm sure everybody at home is thinking the same thing. It looks as though you can pick those up. But just to prove that there is nothing that is standing out from that 
piece of card. It's completely flat. You wouldn't believe it, would you? That is so, so clever. I mean, Amazing the depth work. And the dimension that she did just with the marker is mind-blowing. Mind it really is. Oh, I so want to have a go at that. 729-852 is the item number. An £8 saving on that bundle. Now, wait until you see what we've got for you now. Ooh. We've got three different <laughs> sets here. I absolutely love these stamps. Now, the top row here, this is one bundle for you. There we go. Let's bring the details up. You've got Be Beautiful, Seaside and Fly Free. I've got lots of samples to show you as well, but we'll go through these bundles. £4 saving, £19 and £97 is going to get you this collection. Oh, look at it in a little bikini there. So cute. 088729. The bees are fabulous, aren't they, as well? Oh, these are so much fun. Then let's have a look at the second row because we've got more for you as well. We'll change the details. It is a different item number for this one. I think there must be so many people collecting these. Now you've got Warm and Cozy, Good Book and Game Changer. You can see why it's called that, can't you? Game Changer, you're just looking at there. There is your Good Book. <laughs> oh. And you can mix these around in so many different ways, can't you, Abs, as well, the different sets. And each set, if you like, has some things. different accessories, some sentiments, some other elements with it, you can mix and match all of them and Definitely. create, like, for those who are collecting them, you have treasure. <laughs> because Definitely. how many yeah. elements you have, how many sentiments. Oh, well, we've got another one for you as well. Look at these. You'll recognize one of these characters straight away. Different item number again. There is, look at, oh, just <laughs> love it. Just love it. I've got that one as well. Four pounds saving, 19 pounds and 97 pence, four, five, six, seven, three, four. And you can see here, we've got Charlie, the captain and coffee time. Wonderful stuff. Four, five, six, seven, three, four. Let me just show you a few samples because we, we've got so many samples here. Some will be relevant to the ones you've seen there, but you'll get an idea of what you can achieve with these different sets. Oh, they've got the But they're all the, the websites, bees. even though yeah. um, they're all the websites. They're all there, absolutely every one of them. But just the different techniques again here. Look, using your stencils, using colour. Look at the girl on that one there. And then look at this one. Exactly the same character, <laughs> but how different are they? Love it. Absolutely love it. We've got so many more samples, but I do want to get to Abs as soon as possible. So do have a look at the website for everything because there's so much more to see. Now we've got some more stencils for you. Now let's have a look at the details of these. Now these are really large stencils. You've got profusion, abundance, and I can't remember the rest. We'll bring them back in. We've just <laughs> got to change the prices for you. We were trying to overcharge, I do believe. <laughs> You've got the circles in this one as well. Let's have a look at these. There we are. Right. Now, we may have to go to the website to have a look at these because we're having a bit of trouble with the details on that one. But there's so many more on the website. Again, that's just a snapshot of what we can offer you there as well. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Joe, we're going to go to demonstration with Abs next, but do have a look at the website. You can see the reviews as well. We've got so many different bundles for you. You know, you may have missed out one or two items in the past as well, so you can make sure you can grab those. A lot of them will have discounts on them as well. There's so much to see. We will try and keep you updated with different things throughout the shows, and also, as Abs uses different uh, different project, products with his projects, maybe sort of mixing around with different different bundle numbers so we'll try our very very best to keep you updated on those items oh busy start already just a final reminder of our wild stocks last that's what's in front of me as well we're going to see that with abs i'm sure very very soon and don't forget the one day special sold out within 45 minutes so this is what we're offering now it's very similar to the one day special but we had to lose an ingredient as i put it because we couldn't get any more stocks of that but this is a great contingency plan that we had involved for you and i know you're loving this as well abs over to you over to me. Thank you. Thank you. So um, if you remember just before the end of the first hour, what we did, we used the large butterfly, we did the stress oxide, we did the print, and then it said 8 p.m. We're going to carry on doing all that. Okay. We will, that. but just changing it slightly and making it more interesting. So okay. what I thought I'd do, I'm going to do the same, but instead of doing it, this is my A4 piece, actually, as you can see. I just cut it into pieces, the A4 pa uh, page. Instead of doing the print here and then working, I thought I'm going to cut in two pieces. It do only half of a butterfly in one page in okay. this way, this side, and then turn the other one and work with a small butterfly because we still did not work with a small butterfly yet. 
and the small butterfly will have it here but in the other direction. Oh, right. well, and then, say that. Yeah, and then we create different scenes here, different elements, bring more characters, bring more uh, elements from the show, and try to mix them with Janet Klein, little people. Oh, I can't wait. Because uh, all the product work beautifully together. Okay, let me put my paper aside. And let me get that one. So, of course, if I want to do the print this way, so I'm going to work in that side, and then when I do my print later, I have it in the right direction. Okay. So, for this one, I'm going to go with um, this trio here of colours. But I'm just going to. Spice marmalade again. Yeah, spice marmalade, pink raspberry, and candied apple. Lovely. But I'm just working on half of the butterfly, because we're doing just half butterfly now. Bring in that little bit of. Uh, pink, sorry, the raspberry. Okay. Nice juicy stamps there look as well. Or inks, I should say. Yeah, and then the last one. We're just doing that red bit here. A bit of dark colour and a nice sort of continuity. Okay. Spray some water. Okay, so directly onto the stencil. Yeah, directly on the stencils. Make sure you have the water all over your page. Bring your piece of paper. And then do... Oh, I have a nice... Can you see that happy accident? I love any splodges and splatters. And I know you've I got it. some stamps that create <laughs> I them. Love so it. there we go. Love it. The thing is, if I'm going to put my paper, I'm going to um, remove it. So I will try to don't go over it. Because I really like it and I want to keep it. Can you see what I did? I just put the paper <laughs> just around it. Because I really don't want to lose it. Meant to be there, I think. I certainly think so. Okay, so just um, just to get it all the excess of paint, of the ink and the water. Oh, look at that. And then we have the first wing here. Put it aside to dry. Okay. While yeah. I work on the second butterfly, I will clean my stencil later. And that one is the small size. So that's beautiful size here. Okay. okay. And for this one, we have those three colours. Lovely. Just as you're inking that up, Abs, I'm just going to let everybody know again at home. If anybody's got any questions for Abs, or if there's something in particular you'd like to see, please let us know. Studio at achanda.com. Also, I'm going to let you know we are off to a very busy start again. While stocks last, you are loving it. I, well, why wouldn't you? It's just amazing. Just seeing the stencils so far and forget about the stamps for a minute. Just the stencils on their own, worth every single penny of the money we're asking there. £24.27 and 27 pence will get you everything. It does include the two stencils, the stamps that I've just mentioned, and also the washi tape as well. You are saving £12. I yeah. love that colour. And now I'm doing yellow, green and blue. Spray water, give it a good. Okay. And then go and do And now we're working in this direction. No happy accidents that time, no splatters? No happy accident oh. this time. <laughs> what a shame. <laughs> just spray. Make sure we have a nice print. Okay. And can you just remind everybody again, I'm switch. Cardstock you're using there? Um, 250 GSM multimedia cardstock. A multimedia, lovely. And the multimedia means you can use it with watercolour, you yeah. can use it with acrylics, you can do many techniques with it. And that's oh, the other butterfly, but a different colour. I think if I turn it here, you can see the colours better than uh, maybe this way. Beautiful. I don't know. Or maybe just one feather. It looks like too much. That is, a, that is a really lovely mix, isn't it? Yeah, I like it this way. Okay, so let me put those aside. Just to quickly remove the colour from my mats. Okay. So I can move to... Yeah, I think it's fine. Oops. Am I back to the right spot? You're, you're good there. Yeah. Brilliant. Okay, now what I want to do, so I have here my both um, project. So we're going to do, as I said, continuity of pattern and everything. Just let me put that one, um, this one is dry, so I'm going to work in that one. I have um, my large stencil. We have them in two different sides, so I'm going to work with the A4 first. Okay, you do get them together though, don't you? The A4 and the 6x6. Six six. Yeah, so um, mm. I think we have also, do we have the squares as well on the show? I, we, I don't, I don't really think we have them on the show. You may find them on the website if you look under the brand. Not on the counter, yeah, but I think on the show, like yeah. I'm in the pool. Do we have the squares as well? 
I think you need to find them on the website. We've got the hexagons, we've got the triangles as well. Ah, okay, brilliant. no problem. We're going to work okay. with this one anyway. Okay, so what I want to do is I wanted to create um, a nice circle here. Oh, I don't want to lose that. I'm trying to put my stencils so do not lose that one. <laughs> so I'm going to work with my um, that beautiful circle stencil here, A4. And then I'm just taking some... Um, I'd say some of my um, watercolor pencils. You can use any watercolor pencil you want. So here I'm having the same colors I use from my background. Okay. So let me take um, red, yellow, and magenta, or pink you can use. And all what I'm doing, and using that stencil as a template to draw that circle. And I broke mine. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, I do not have a. <laughs> but oh. I already did the circle, which is perfect. So that's the first Lovely. one. And I'm going to do a second <laughs> one here. That, always me, Catherine. <laughs> if it's not offensive, that I can make a blog. That wasn't such a happy accident, was it? That no, one? that's not a happy accident. Yes. <laughs> and I was planning to do both in magenta and then add the, yeah, the grad, but now it doesn't matter. I'm just going to add it. <laughs> it's end of the day. So, it's <laughs> so I'm having here um, the second circle, which is the red one. Okay. So now I created here kind of two focal points. I know yeah. it's just circles for now using that beautiful stencils. And the good thing is, actually, I like the rules of three, so I'm not going to keep to two. But the third one, I'm not going to put a large one because otherwise we're going to fill all that space and it's going to yeah. be too much. So I'm going to use a slightly a smaller circle. Okay. And we have that beautiful circle here. It's a good stencil that so we can use for many ways and have all those different sizes. We're all holding our breath and have to see if the pencil breaks. <laughs> no, I'm not going to press that much now. <laughs> there we are. So we have three stents, we have our three circles in there. And then what I'm taking is my water brush. And usually I do it around to highlight those points. And now I'm just going to do it to the inside a little bit. Okay. So all I'm doing is I'm just kind of activating those pigments in the watercolor from the pencil, sorry, watercolor pencil. Bringing that bad, create uh, that red, sorry, creating that sort of. Lovely. Um, of course, we're not going to stop it. So that's already one point in there. Do the same thing with that um, red in here. And now we can see what happens with this flat. I will try to don't put that much water because it's oxide and then I will reactivate it. So I don't want to lose it a little bit. So just a little bit. Oh, can we still are. see it? Can we still see it? We can see it, yeah. Looks, yeah, okay. looks great. There. And then just do a last one here with that magenta or pink or okay. any colour you want. That works beautifully with this. For anyone that's just joined us as well, don't forget the stencil. The main focal point there, the butterfly, is part of the wild stocks last. We remain busy on that. Almost 20% of the stock has gone. This has been put in place, of course, because the one-day special did sell out so quickly in the launch hour. We've got that saving of £12. You can see the details there as well. We're going to see much more of this, I hope anyway, unless it flies out again. 722905. Loving the colours. Did you say 20% of that? Yes. Why is that? Yeah. Oh my God, I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> I still have three shows, guys. <laughs> I need to demo it. Okay, this is all I did here. That it's looks just, great. Um, yeah, so it's still early stage. It's still one of the first steps, but we already start highlighting some elements. We already start creating some focal points and having some um, sorts of movements going on. So that's why I did here. And okay. then we're going to do the same thing here. But for this one, I wanted to play with with triangles because um, ah, I think... So we're able just to jump in very, very briefly and let you know about, let everybody know about something else as well, because we've got so much on here. We're not going to stay away long. We're going to start actually with this one here because as I say, we've got so much to tell you about, we can't possibly fit it all on the counter. But this here, eight pounds saving, this is your garden tools, 12 stamps. Let me turn this around so you can see exactly what you're getting. Really lovely. 999 973041. So that's another great saving for you. And then we've also got this next stamp set. Let's pick this one up for you. We've got Ribbit Ribbit. There we are. Wonderful, isn't it? Look at that. Let me just turn this around so you can see as well. 11 stamps in total on this one. That's exactly what you get in there. 9 99 again, an £8 saving yet again. 913273. 
So do have a look at those. Oh, I love the garden. Well, look, it's got snails on it. I just love snails. Oh, fabulous. Now we've got the happy hour just to remind you of as well because of course the happy hour the price will go up at the top of this hour. These are from Janet Klein. You've got the four A7 stamp sets. You've got all good things. Play ball, go fish and oh boy. 20 stamps in total with a huge saving of £10. Just seventeen ninety six for all four sets. 310111 is the item number. Now we're not going to keep you from abs any longer. We are going to go straight back there now and see how it's getting on. Oh, so now, triangles now. Now I'm using triangle just to show you something different. I don't know why I was looking at the screen there. They have three in front of me. <laughs> 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 they were not uh. enough for me. <laughs> so what I'm doing here now, I'm using the um, the green and the blue now. But I want to show you, you don't have to go only in one colour for the whole circle or for the whole shape. So here I did half of it a blue and half of it a green. And then when we blend in, we have that nice continuity from the butterflies going out. So this is the large um, triangle. I'm going to do a um, slightly different size. Let's go with this triangle here. Oh, abs I hate Kit interrupting. We're not going to stop you what you're doing there, but I can tell you the triangle's so busy, limited stock. Oh, my God. <laughs> Would that any be left for me to use tomorrow? <laughs> I, I don't know. We're going to let you keep going for now. I might have to just... Oh, I can't even snatch it away because I'm not allowed near Rabs because for obvious reasons, but we may have to at I some know. point say, that's it, we can't tell you this one anymore. Okay, that's another triangle. There we are. And then one more, maybe we add it here. Um, should we do, yeah, this size here, slightly larger, will be good. Okay. So, let me... If it's allowed, don't tell me till I finish this triangle, please. <laughs> oh, it's going very quickly, this one, Abs. Oh, no! Finished. We have technically sold it. Oh, that was perfect, Abs. That was oh, perfect. Oh, do check your baskets out. All stock allocated. If any bounce back, we'll let you know. We cannot get any more stock of that. We've checked. Well done, everybody. You're going to love those. You can carry on, Abs, yeah. You keep going. Okay. <laughs> <We're> still... <laughs> We've still got the butterfly stencil on your sample there, and obviously you can show us what we can do with this. There and we are. And for that one, I'm doing the reverse. So here ah. I've got the inside, and here I'm colouring the outside, yep. and then trying to bring that blue to the background that later on will really help me to have some sort, some sort of starting point for the um, when I start stamping and layering outside, um, what well, I mean the rest of the background. Oh, so it's doing... just great to see these different effects. Yes, I'm Have doing... we still got stocks of the hexagon, or has that sold out? That's gone as well. Oh, my <gasps> God. We do have the circles, although they are very, very busy. What a difference this makes. I can't... I love watching. Every time I see a technique like this, it just... It just, you know, it amazes me every single time. It never gets boring to watch. But the difference it makes is just unbelievable. Yeah, and then quickly to one of the greens here, and then we can do exactly the same thing for the rest. So I want those to move colors. to something else. So, yeah. Just highlighting those triangles. Oops, maybe a little bit in there. If it's too much water, you can, or uh, too much color, you can always bring water. Ah, good. Just cleaning that one there, doesn't matter. There we are, just yeah. blending the And then carry out. on doing that with those two triangles. Yeah. Let me just do quickly that main line because it's a large line and you can see a difference once we add the water in here. There we go. Details on the screen, of course, for the while stocks last. Okay, so um, I'm just going to stop here for those two. Lovely. Let me carry on. Yep. That, while that one dry and this one is completely dry, okay. so I can carry on on this one. Okay, so what we can do is we have that beautiful um, stamp from the um, the uh, the bundle, the new yep. configuration. Yeah, stocks last, yes, lovely. Um, just if I can find my border. Where did I put it? I had here my um, acrylic stamp border. Oh, is it hiding again? It is hiding again, and I just used it before the show because I was preparing for something. I am looking from afar to see if I can spot can it you, for oh, you. Oh, there you go. Oh, thank goodness. There we are, we found it. Okay, yeah. And I put and this one in purpose. I did it in purpose <laughs> to don't lose it, and I keep <laughs> losing it. It is a good tip, but if you then put something over the tape, <laughs> then again, it disappears, doesn't it? 
Okay, so I'm using that flour here, and always before stamping, I just take my acetate and see where I'm going to put it, just to have an idea um, what I'm getting. But because I want to add those nice characters from Jana Clyde, so I want to do kind of ground it to here, so okay. you can add a little yeah. people next to it, and you can build beautiful scenes more and more. Okay. Um, I cannot right. wait to see what you're going to do with Janet's stumps. I really can't. And it just shows how you can mix different styles together. Yeah, it shows really the versatility of the product, of the stems, but also how they beautifully work together. I mean, um, we have different designers all over the world. We have di in different styles as yeah. well. But it's always amazed me how completely different styles work together and um, every set complement the other one. That's beautiful here. And as I said before, don't forget that at the end we have all the those all cuts so we can see them. The white will pop at the end and we can still see it. You Love see, it. you can highlight that one. I don't know if the camera can make closer, but um, we can see it, yeah, that's great. Okay, brilliant. And then you have this one also in white that we're gonna colour later, and then we can see it even better once we do all that detail. So we have those here. And then what I'm gonna do is I was thinking to just stamp part of that text here on it. Can you see that small text and small background? Okay, yeah. It's just to bring a little bit that detail the other side of the page and we have that nice continuity and we can do it second generation, third generation, just so we bring some interest the other side and not only that section in here. I'm gonna do the same thing here. Stamp more and keep playing, bring in a little bit of more color, more details all over my page and we have that nice continuity one in here i'm just loving those circle subs i think they look amazing because i was thinking um i know i want this one as a focal point my flowers and everything but i wanted something different for the background yeah. i want something to make my background more interesting so i thought the circles would really work beautifully let's put some texture inside the circles as well to make them more interesting and not only plain red and plain um once again, like you, you, yeah. you would think Just that you could pick details. those up, those circles. They Let look me put those here, and then proud. we're going to stick them later. Okay, so bring that one here. And let's bring those beautiful Janet Klein ones. Okay, so I already have them, some cut and down. So we're going to put some here, as you can see. <laughs> but before sticking it here at the end and before adding it to the page, I really want to create more interesting details. So I have here um, the different set that we have on the show. One of them, this is beautiful, beautiful background stamp set that comes with the two kits also. And we do have, uh, let me just put that one here aside and see properly what we're going to use. That is such we have a useful so set many first, to a point where I don't know what to pick. You could almost do um, a lucky dip on these, I think, because they just... Let me you know, start when with you, this one, don't waste too much time. Yeah. You just amaze everybody all the time. So whatever you pull <laughs> out, it just works. Uh, thank you. Okay, um, so I have here this um, small details here. Okay. And, but now, instead of using black, because we already have so much black, let's go with some different colours. Let's go with some different colours. I'm sticking to the same colour family. Don't want to bring too much... Um, too many different colours for now. Do you know the name of that particular stamp set? I remember seeing it before. It was something ingredients. I know because I bought it. Um, what's the other name? Is that a background stamp we set? We found it, I think. Visual ingredients, that's oh, it. Oh, visual ingredients. I yeah. don't know why I couldn't think of the first name because I thought it was such a clever name for these. We can give you the details of the bundle, actually. There it is. It comes with Stay Chic and Tea Time as well. Stay Chic. Love it. Six pounds savings, six six four three three seven. There are so many different bundles. Obviously, you don't want to miss anything that Abs is doing, but you can find on the website so many different bundles there. And Abs will be pulling in and out various different elements from different bundles. That is such a useful set, isn't it? Then just whatever left. So I'm going to. And at the end, I'm going to highlight more that butterfly so it stands out as well. And okay, not because yeah. now I'm putting more layers and layers. Okay, and I think. Should we go one step crazy? Oh, let's do it, please. Because I want to bring one of the circles inside one of the circles. <laughs> oh, yeah. Know. I like that. Mm, maybe in that one. Yeah. Yes. Let's do it. And going to make it more interesting and not only a simple circle. And by doing that, so we have our first layer of yellow. 
bring a little bit of orange, so the reminder of the different colors on the page. Yeah. And then just a little bit of a darker color here, which is magenta. So we have all the three colors. Oh, and then I'm not going to do them exactly in the center. So I'm just going to put them a little bit here to have them even more interesting because I don't like something like look very symmetric or very perfect. Oh, that does work. And that circle is more interesting now. And I'm going to stop here. Okay, let me stop with those backgrounds. And um, I don't know actually if this one is in the show or not. The um, the color theory stamp sets. Because that I one would be also a nice. Be definitely in on the website. Shows. That is definitely on the website, but I'm not sure if it's a show. But th this one is also very interesting stamp set. Janet Klein designed it to go with those because we have the circles and everything. Oh, I'm going to give everybody a bit of a heads up with the, the colour wheel one there. If you watch the shows tomorrow, you may find, if you hang on for that one, you're going to get a really good deal. That's Ooh, all I can say for now. Okay. So somewhere we remember to bring it out and <laughs> show it to them. <laughs> okay, so this is what I did here. So um, now I'm going to just work a little bit more on the triangle ones because I really want to have those two um, working beautifully together. Okay, um, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to bring my background stamp sets. We have so many here on the show. I'm trying to see the camera. Yeah, I think this was a busy bundle earlier as well. We'll see if we can find the details for you for this next bundle. Let's I'm definitely going to start with the triangles. Right, okay. Has to go oh, with. That, now that has sold out. I but, forgot, sorry. Uh, I can see you've got other, th oh, the hexagons have got, the circles, we've got those, haven't we, in a bundle? Yeah, we do, no, no, we do have plenty. I do have more stems, so I okay, just brought those yeah. so we can, and actually we'll that circles, that we also create a nice contrast. So, um, colours, let me bring those colours. Right. Details coming in for this particular bundle. It's another beauty, actually. You've got knobbly bubbles, quirky cobbles, ice flows, <laughs> and roundly. There you are, all four of those there. Another great saving. Look at this one, less than half price. 60, oh, well, I might have to add this one into my basket. 16 pounds <laughs> saving, 15 pounds and 96 pence, 877591. That is a really, really good bundle. Okay, so I did some, um, I did like I did before, um, green and a little bit of a blue, so okay, it reminds yeah. us of this. And I love those circles here, it has that straight line to go with, so I'm just going to do one here. And I'm not using acrylic block because I just um, want some yeah. more details and I'm not stamping all of it anyway, so yeah. So adding that one in there. Oh, I love the two colours, how they mix in there. Um, can do exactly the same thing, but the other side, so we have the small line and those... Um, different circles bring a little bit of the blue not covering all of it just hint okay. that's it and then do exactly the same thing but this side now I'm not sure if we still have versifying claire on the website i know paula's done shows recently hasn't she does an amazing show. yeah they are i, I need to invest did. in lots of colors of those i think the more and more i see them and i know i've only got a you know a couple of different colors I thought I had many of the colour that I need. And when I watch Power, I was like, oh, I do need uh, this one too. I do need yeah. to this, this one too. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I, that one. Now, let me bring some um, splatters as well, creating. Okay. And that one would be a completely different style than those circles in there. And Now, I, this is another one that I absolutely love. It's a different bundle. We'll bring the details up for this one as well, because again, you're not just getting the one stamp. This is what you're getting. Look at this one. It's another £16 saving as well, less than half price. £15.96 for this one, 513890. And in the same bundle, I think, if I'm not wrong, there is that um, stamp set, also I7, but with the um, the letters and the splatters and by Tracy yeah. Evans. I think the same bundle I'm going to use also now. So I'm adding just all those um, interesting splatters and details. Okay, yeah, they are in the same bundle, we can confirm that. Oh, brilliant. Yeah, so it's coming together. Now I'm going to use them in a very, very random way, because I just want part, some of the letters and numbers, not all of them. And I'm just going to go around my triangles here and try to do some here and there. Lovely. I've got quite a few of your stamps, Abs, and so uh, I, do you know, I told this story the other day actually, I've, I've just recently bought lots more storage to sort everything out, 
But there's one set of stamps that I straight away, I just had to put in their own box and not mix them up with anything else. And they were Janet Klein stamps. I oh. just simply love them so much. They're amazing. They're really, really good stamp sets and different. And um, I have so many friends who are collecting them now and keep messaging me like, oh, I just got two more. Oh, I just got three more. <laughs> I just got them. And then Karen is working through her list as well. The other day she told me like, okay, I'm halfway up. I'm halfway. <laughs> I think you do need to make a checklist, don't you? So you can mark off what you've got. Well, that's a very interesting point because if you go to our Orange Create Fanatic um, Facebook group, Jana Klein did a PDF format with all her sets, with the name, with the numbers, so you can tick if you have it already or if you still want it, so you can keep record of all what you have, so you don't to do, to, um, to avoid having a double yeah. or buying things, so you can keep everything, and also to know how many you're missing and how many you have to get. <laughs> I didn't know that was there, it's I a, need yeah. to go on myself so then. It's really, really important, so just go there, print it out, or okay. just use uh, digit, um, like uh, online if you prefer. Print it out and then start crossing what you have or you don't have. Tracy Evans did the same thing with her product. Oh, that is such a so good also, idea. So if you collect Tracy Evans one, also go to Fanatics and you find it there or on her group as well. Definitely a good idea. I okay. think I need to print those out and hand them in to everybody who works here and then when they're on the show, especially Leonie, because often we see Leonie with All In Crate as well. <laughs> And just get a little bit of a heads up when I'm, I'm missing something and they can give me a tip off. Yeah. <laughs> or send that list to your family. Look, I'm missing this and this and this. <laughs> Birthday soon or... <laughs> oh, they just say to me, do you really need any more? <laughs> So I'm having yes. those small ones oh, here. I'm trying that. to see. I'm oh, trying to see. That is one of my all-time favourite stamps as well. There. The pineapple tree oh, is my favourite too. And now we have a bikini. So I'm trying to see which one to put with this. And that butterfly that I truly think it's adding a lot to oh, it. That just so works maybe those so well, doesn't two. It? Or um, let's see what I have here in that magic box. I call it the magic because of, oh look, we have the cat. We go very well because it's green as well. <laughs> Oh, how long have we got left? I don't want to go home. I, I want to stay no, here no, all night. Stay. 30 minutes left. I have got another hour. I'm not going anywhere after this, but I just want to stay and watch abs. <laughs> I'm sure we can have abs working just in the corner or at the end of the <laughs> counter while I'm doing the next show. I would love to stay and do more. Um, so, yes, I'm just adding some characters. I did not stem them. I did not stick anything. Just seeing um, what to add, which one to add, and just playing around. Um, I love it. I'm going to bring the small ones now because we do have a lot of the small ones but not only because they have the, um, the focal points but I want to use the small um, accessories to get with because okay, I have yeah. sometimes small, um, okay let me just put that one here, let me see for example that one it came with. This is the thing though, you do oh. get so many elements within these bundles and they will mix and match so beautifully. We've talked before about, I know it sounds a bit gruesome, but taking the head from one character, putting <laughs> it on the body of another as well. <laughs> it's, it just works. <laughs> uh, we have, uh, that's one of my other favourite stem sets, that bird. I really oh, like the bird in yeah. here. Okay, so I just picked those two here, the bird and that, uh, um, I don't remember the name of this stem Oh, no, I do know the name of this one. Oh, Moonlight. No, I found Moonlight, it. that's the one. <laughs> Moonlight, so. yeah. Okay, I'm going to get some flowers, some stars from here and there, and keep adding it to this piece here. Okay, um... Baram, baram, baram. Should I put colours here now? Should I start bringing... Yeah, let me do the bit of different colours now. Let me take a little bit of brown. Everything again will work beautifully on fabric, wouldn't it? Just oh yeah, absolutely. If colors. you have the right ink or you have the right paint, everything will yeah. look. And our stems are good quality photopolymer, but they're deeply etched, which means even if you use them with paint or anything else, you still work beautifully. So, okay, let's do some flowers. I just love the, the little girl on top of the big triangle there, just how she's got her legs Oh, yeah. <laughs> have that one here and they want to add also the flower from the um, wild stock um, last because that's okay, a nice yeah. flower we go really beautifully with this and let me add some stars first doesn't that just pull everything together when you start to add 
that darker color in the background those little elements as well I mean, the samples done by the design team, they are amazing. So um, wh when you go to Fanatics to um, print out the, um, the file with all the stamps, have a look of what the team are created. But not only the design team, we have some really, really talented followers. When they share their artwork in there, sometimes like, oh my God, I've never thought of using the stamp this way or that way. They really, really am talented. Well, I know you said on the earlier show apps as well that anybody that's purchasing, please do, if you haven't already, find the Facebook page and do share what you make. You know, so I know sometimes we see people posting, oh, I'm so inspired by everybody. I don't want to post mine because I'm not up to their standards. No, that is not don't true think because that. exactly. Everybody sees different things in different, you know, different creations. And it doesn't matter how good or bad you think you are. We love to see absolutely everything that you do. So please do share. I agree 100% with you. Sometimes the colour can inspire you, sometimes the, the idea, yeah. sometimes the, um, the way they it. So there's always, always something to inspire, there's always something we learn from each other. Uh, okay, so let me bring that flower, because I want um, a little bit of the flower here on the side, with this one here, so and then when I add the um, other character, we work really well together. I thought that was the acrylic block. <laughs> no, the black one is here. So for anybody that's watching, Abs, I was uncertain about the different inks. You, you tend to use a lot of the oxides for the backgrounds because they're activated by water. You can do lots of different yeah. sort of... Yeah, um, because I can move them more and yeah, more. Move, yeah, and the Versafine Clair, that's a little bit different. Well, it's completely different, isn't it, really? Yeah, you, and when it comes to something that I want it to be there and yeah. don't move at all, then I use a permanent ink, yeah. which is um, Versafine Clair. You can also use um, uh, Archival, which is permanent ink, but I am a fan of um, Versafine Clair because it's really good when it comes to very, very intricate stamp sets because yeah. it picked all the... <coughs> sorry. It picks all the, um, the elements and the details on it. Let me just put that one. And it really does there. make a difference on the quality of the yeah. cards that you I'm trying use. Now, I, I, I kind of ignored a little bit this one, I forgot, so I would try to work um, in the same way so we can show you okay. two completely yep. different ones when we finish. So we said those here, did we say, I'm um, going to maybe put that one somewhere in here? So at least I know what I'm doing and what I'm adding. Okay, let me add, as we said, um, some background ones. So before I framed with different geometry, but we can also frame with this one because like kind of crackled effect on it, and that I so I really like it too. Okay, um, so a little bit of that. Oh, the red actually. I'm gonna because I used the brown in there. I'm gonna use the red in here. Okay. And again, no need for a block, just using your fingertips. That was a bit of interest on the edge. Ah. Small details, different ways. Let me turn it, use this section here. For anybody that's watching Abs who absolutely loves what they're seeing but is a little bit frightened to make a start, what would you say to them? Don't think twice. <laughs> go with the floor, have a go, a play. Even if you're scared, um, just grab a piece of paper, ink, stamp, start doing some stamping. And one actually good thing is stamp your stamps, the images for a point. Yeah. Stamp them all many times, see them, look at them, colour them. And, and then do the background, a bit of colour, a bit of layering. You may not like the first one, maybe, you may not like the second one, but um, give it a go. And as I said, if, and if you don't like one, does not mean it's not beautiful and you need to move to the second one. It just means it's not finished yet. Yeah. So keep adding elements, keep changing around. And if you really don't like um, a section, just stick a butterfly and then <laughs> it's a highlight <laughs> well, section got that is bothering you. We've butterflies for you, haven't we, on these shows? We have, yes. <laughs> So I'm just adding um, another section in here, kind of framing it with this. So it's a completely different way of framing um, your work here and adding all those um, small details and elements. And I think that's a good tip as well, and we're watching you do it. When you're working with a stamp and you're just maybe catching the edge as you are there, don't just think about re-inking the same area. Do turn the stamp around, use the different edges of it. 
different edges, second generation stamping yeah. as well, whatever ink is left, keep using it until um, you can't have any prints of it. Okay, so I did those two here, I did those two. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use some washi tapes, because I think the washi tapes will really um, highlight more these sections and okay. bring more of these um, details. Okay, so we have got different... six minutes left, Ab, so we're okay. doing really well for time, actually. We have different washi tapes here um, on the show today, so I'm going to bring some. I have this beautiful one by Tracy, but that's one of my favourite, actually. Okay. Let me use part of it. Now, the bundle that Abs has got here, we will bring the details up. There are other bundles available, but this one, seen on the screen, there's still a saving on these as well. £2.60 is the saving on this. You can see everything you get in there, including one of those plain ones as well. 13.98.034.144. So, I'm using... Um, I think that's a different bundle they showed in the, on the screen, because that's a different one. Um, yeah. I'm using now this one. This, um, ah, yeah, two different bundles we've got here, I think. Yeah, and um, it's the other one that has large, they are a bundle of three washi tapes. One of them is the three and a half centimetres, um, the width. Okay, there's the other but details. I was about to use the other one as well, so it's not that big problem, because I'm going to mix all of them, because they work really well together. I am going to remind people about the happy hour as well, because, of course, the price will go up on the happy hour at the end of this hour. So make sure you've checked those baskets out. In fact, it goes for anything on the show. We've seen so many sellouts already. We saw the one-day special sell out in the first hour within 45 minutes. We do have a while stocks last, but that is flying as well. So make sure those baskets are checked out before you lose what you need. There's the happy hour for you. Lovely bundle, this one again. Look at those. £10 sale. Saving. Great buy. That price will go back up to 27.96 at the top of the hour. 310111. They are super cute, aren't they? You could change the girls' heads for the boys' heads as well. You can, yeah, you can. Like Leonie said, swapping the heads. Just yeah. to move the heads. <laughs> Off with their heads. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, yeah. Um, I have also this washi tape that I really like. You see that have a nice sentiment. So you have imagination, you have journey, you have life, you have belief, you have embrace, you have uh, fun, you have um, leave, you have life, you have all of those. So I'm just going to cut some words. I did not stick anything yet. As I said, I'm going to bring my flowers, those here. Um, oops, just the white one. We go here. So we have more okay. white you can see later. And um, we have that small one here for the white one. Let me just take it from here. that nice butterfly is sticking there and then we can add in our words just a little bit and um, remove I always like removing a little bit of the edge that have that straight line the hat. and just removing kind of one millimeter tearing a little bit of pieces so we have it nice this way okay I do like that what you take with the words on it's so useful it's really really useful yes yeah. so i'm just going to put for instance um the the word imagination here okay yeah that works nice and we do um believe and journey those are very nice words let me put them here but because we have the large one which is the same um sort of style but in different words so we have the word art and we have the word create i think i had some other words that i prepared before yeah uh, no i stuck in there so it's not a problem just gonna take another one washi tape's great isn't it how long is it since you brought brought your first ones out it wasn't so not long that ago, long no um so the first release was october uh, august sorry for okay, the Hachanda yeah. birthday oh was uh, it yeah and the second one was um in november for um last month actually oh wow so nice. it was last month the, the one we're going to see a lot more of it as well because it's just fabulous stuff to work with so we can do the words art, imagination, or you can just go, um, maybe you can go here with the words art. Okay, we've got a we minute just... and a half of demo time left, Abs. Okay, so let me just do it then here, one here. The word art here, because this might fit beautifully here. And then the word create, it's a bit larger, so let me just cut a little bit those um, sides here. That's done. You don't need to waste a single bit, do you? No, let me just... Ah, sticky, my fingers. The word create, we're going to put it somewhere, maybe... 
Mm, I'm just trying to see where I'm going to put the yeah, word Yeah, I like create. that one. I'm going to add another word later at it. Okay. Um, just a quickly before you said that, I said I would come back to the... Um, what is it? What is it? What is it? My stencil here. Yeah. What okay, you can do sometimes... We're in the last minute now, Abs. Okay, what you can do... Which I'm, I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to show you quickly. Um, so what you can do also, if you remember you have some gaps in here, either you go with your background stencils and try to bring more details in here. Like, um, for instance, just let me go quickly with that one. Just bring some blue. Okay, with details those. on the screen for the totally dotted in lots of dots if you are using or wanting to use the stencils, of course. So many different bundles Just add available. That. I think that splatters here really, really fills the gaps and it's really, really nice to use with any um, different... If you can also bring a little bit of green if you want, so you have that nice mix. I think those splats in that bundle are definitely one of my favourite new stamps, I think. Oh, we're down to the last 20 seconds. Abs, as always so inspiring really really honestly and i just love everything abs does and i'm sure you do as well remember Let's abs is back together. again in the morning of course with the live shows at eight o'clock abs thank you so so much what a wonderful hour yet again see you very soon oh we really didn't want to have to cut away then but you have to don't you storage happy hour coming up next that's with me keep me company then all in create another hour there and then wonderful wool happy hour Did you know you can watch Hochanda 24 hours a day, seven days a week for free using our app on Roku? Just like your smartphone accesses an app store to add new applications, your Roku streaming player or Roku TV accesses the Roku channel store to add new channels. By downloading the Hochanda channel, you'll be able to access your favorite craft channel on your TV anytime you want to watch. Here's how to do it. Turn on your TV and connect your Roku device. Next, turn the power on and press the home button on your Roku remote. Scroll up or down to select settings. Select your network and select setup connection. Roku uses a wireless connection, so select your router name and add your password. This should be on the side or the bottom of your router. If this is the first time using Roku, then you'll need to set up an account on the device or by going to the Roku website. That's it. Now it's time to add the Hochanda app. Simply press the home button on the Roku remote. Scroll up or down using the arrows on your remote to select streaming channels. Then open the channel store. At the top of the channel store, you'll find a list of featured, new and popular categories to explore. Enter Hochanda into the search bar and this will take you to the Hochanda app. Now simply select Add Channel. When you see the added channel screen, press OK and return to the home page. Now scroll down to the Hochanda app and press the star button on your remote. You can then use the arrow buttons to move Hochanda to the top of the screen for quick and easy access. And that's it. You can now watch, purchase and catch up with your favourite shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on your TV whenever you feel crafty. Hi, I'm Katrina from Rowan Dean. We're a small family business that design embroidery kits. Embroidery has always been my passion and I'd love to show you how to do some of the stitches and some of the kits. We're based in Derbyshire and I'm really inspired by the landscape and flora of Derbyshire and I think other people will be too. Our kits are really easy and I hope they inspire you to have a go at stitching. Since we've been on Hachanda, we've had a great time. Everybody's been really friendly and really good. We've met loads of people all around the country who watch Hachanda and find it really inspiring. Don't forget to join me on my own Dean shows on Hachanda. Hi, I'm Leslie from Chocolate Baroque, and we design and manufacture our own rubber stamps right here in the northeast of England. We have a wonderful in-house designer called Sue who hand draws all the images which we then transfer into rubber stamps. We have very, very elaborate designs. We have everything from steampunk right through to beautiful florals and then we have scenic and we have words. Our stamps are beautifully elaborate, very, very detailed, exquisitely etched and the quality is next to none. So good that if you look after your stamps, we guarantee them for a lifetime. 
whether it's stamping, mixed media or art journaling. Join us at a Hajanda for our journey into everything creative and messy and see what you can create with our stamps. Hi, we're the team from Daisy B Stamps. My name's Nina. This is Josie. And this is my dad, Roy. And we design and manufacture our very own polymer stamps. So three years ago, we decided to embark on turning our own designs into polymer stamps. We're really excited about where this is going to take us in the future and how we can evolve those designs and keep bringing you something that's just so, so different. So we wanted to add an extra element to our stamp collection and this was down to Josie using her iPad and hand drawing the amazing sentiments that we now have in our collection. All our designs complement each other so that you can use them again and again to create something new. So make sure you don't miss the Daisy Bee shows on Hachanda. That, that little intro, you know, when it's gone. Now, we have got a wonderful hour ahead, big savings, because, of course, we're amidst the big save event, aren't we? Yes, we've got big savings this hour for you as well. Do stay with me because I'm all on my own. This is a happy hour. That means, of course, prices will go up at 10 o'clock. This is the final live hour, remember. Well, it's all about storage, and we've got something, I think, for everybody and for all pockets as well. Of course, you've got those savings, but let's have a look at the first item. Straight away, you can see it is a half price deal. £15.99, you're saving £16, and this is absolutely beautiful. This is our hobby gift, Lydia Twin Lid Square Sewing Box. Now, this is so, so pretty, and the fabric that's been used on this particular item as well, it's beautiful, isn't it? Very fresh looking. In fact, it reminds me of some of the stamps that I've seen on All and Create there. Absolutely gorgeous. The quality, I've got to say, it does feel nice and weighty, not too weighty that you you can't lift that up and move it around of course but you can tell can't you when you pick up with the handles you can see the finishing on something as well you can see the quality of the fabric and of course we've not even looked inside yet now this is quite natty isn't it the little uh, lifters there instead of having handles on there you've got those two bits of fabric which are really all you need actually just for opening the lids there now look inside this could be a jewelry box if you wanted to be as well I think so if I just turn this way a little bit, oh no, that doesn't help, does it? You can see those pockets there. <laughs> it would have helped if I'd done that, maybe. That would have made more sense, wouldn't it? There you can see those little elasticated pockets. You can put whatever you wish in there. Maybe little scraps of fabric, maybe uh, your thimbles and things like that, perhaps in there. Your bobbins could go in there, but we've got lots of compartments for all sorts. Let's turn it around, another little pocket there. There's your pin cushion, very useful really nice honestly it is it's lovely and then of course you've got your top tray there that you can just easily lift out lots of compartments in there as well and because it's transparent as well whatever you put in underneath you can see it in there so maybe I don't know maybe your fabric pieces again perhaps you're doing some quilting and you've got your paper piecing pieces in there you can fit all sorts in there actually it's a nice substantial size I don't know if we've got a ruler around or something we can measure these with because it's a nice deep box We'll see if we can find something to measure these because I think it's, you know, it is nice to know the size of everything. But, you know, that is a great deal. Half price, 137552. Do take advantage. Think about also as well buying for gifts. Put them away, maybe for birthday, Mother's Day. You know, we've passed Christmas, I know, but you might want to be saving for next time as well. Maybe just a little gift for someone that you know. Do you know what? We can measure because I have got a ruler. Yes! Uh, I'll tell you what I haven't got though, I haven't got my glasses, I hope I can read this. <laughs> Which end is the right end to measure with? Let's have a look. No, it, actually, to be quite honest, it does make it easier if we can bring the camera in because you can see at home as well. 
Uh, let's have a look. So we've got 18 centimetres there to the top from the bottom and it does sit to the, the countertop there. So 18 centimetres. So that's the height. Width weighs. It's pretty square, this, actually. Make sure I've got that. Actually, I'm saying it's pretty square. 27. Is it? No, 26. <laughs> Told you I needed my glasses. 26 centimetres across the width there. Let's just go this way. Maybe this is going to be 26 as well. Yeah, that is square that way. So, yeah, definitely square on the top. 26 by 18, 18 being the height. So a really good size. Do like that an awful lot. But we've got lots more for you. Remember, this is happy hour, so don't forget to check those baskets out. Now, the next item, this is better than half price. This is a really good deal as well. Now, this is your hobby gift, your XL sewing stool. Now, when it says a sewing stool, I wouldn't suggest that humans sit on it, but I actually think a teddy bear or maybe a rag doll would work beautifully out sat on the top there. Something that you perhaps made from the contents of the box. It is styled on the style of a stool, isn't it? Because you've got the little feet there. Also, you can see there at the front, you've got a really good clasp on there as well. If I just show you that, that's magnetic. Now, I'm thinking... Small people might be able to sit on this. I know I'm small, but I'm not small enough to sit on this one. Uh, a lovely train here as well. Let me just take that out for a second and just turn that around so you can see the lid again. Because, of course, you've got your pin cushion, you've got your lovely elasticated pocket there. Really pretty colours in this one as well. The tray, you can see there, nice and transparent. Again, you've got lots of compartments. You could put maybe some crochet hooks in there. Your bobbins can go in. You know, it's not just for your sewing. It is for your other soft crafts as well. Maybe you want to keep something else in there. It's entirely up to you. Maybe little keepsakes would go in there as well. Jewelry again, perhaps. I'm just going to lift this up so you can see the base. And we will measure this one as well. Now, I'm not going to measure from the countertop on this one. I'm going to measure because I'm not going to include the feet. I think it's more important to know what we've got inside there. So I'm actually go, going to work from inside here. I know you can't see this, and there's a little bit of measurement on the ruler that doesn't count, so I'm going to take that. Now, uh, let's have a look. Yeah, it's actually a little bit more than that because... What I just want to point out, if you look at the ruler there, the first bit of the ruler doesn't count, does it? Do you know what's easier? I'm going to do it on the outside. I've got to imagine, though. Do you know, they're laughing at me because they're thinking, why didn't you just think of that before? But you have got the depth of the material that the box is made of. We are, do you know, I'm going to say, yeah, I think 11 would be fair. It measures 12 from the outside, but you've got to compensate for the, the material that this box is made of. Let's go across from, we can do this one, this one's easy. Let's take this, and we have got 29 centimetres as an opening there across the width of that. So a really good size, perfect. I'd definitely sit a little teddy bear or something on there. One of my dogs would love to sit on there. Bobby would be the first to jump up. I know that. Anything that I bring in that's a seat, he's on it. Now, the next time... Oh, better give you the details there. They've just gone off, haven't they? I didn't even tell you the number. Twenty-eight ninety-nine, better than half price. That saving was huge. Now, the next item, another lovely little box here. Now, not quite as big as the previous one. But we'll have a look at the price, $14.99. Not such a big price either, £24 saving. Wow. Let's have a look at this one. Again, you have got that tray in there as well. Look at the interior of this. Very plush. That is gorgeous. A very regal purple. I would definitely say, yeah, that's a plum. Definitely a plum colour, isn't it? Beautiful. Let's measure across the width of this one. Do you know, I'm going to go from the counter on this one because it hasn't got feet on it. Oh, do you know, the colour, it might be beautiful, but it makes it very difficult to see the <laughs> measurements on the ruler. Do you know what I'm going to do? Right, from there to the 22 centimetres. 22 centimetres. Let's go from the outer of this one. Just lift it up a little bit to compensate for what doesn't measure on the ruler. So from the outer edge to the top there, it is 14 centimetres. So really nice size again. What a great price. 14.99641994 is the item number. You've got that magnetic clasp there as well. Stunning. Love that. That is really really elegant, isn't it? Now, next up we've got for you, we have we've got, well, you know what you're going to keep in there, don't you? 
If you can't see it, wool. That's what we've got in there. You don't have to put wool in there if you don't want, but you can because it says wool on the front. You've got more than that. Do you know, I like that as well. You could colour that in. You've got your ink tents or your fabric paints or you could embroider it and put some beads on there if you wanted to as well. We've got something else. We've got the project pouch with it as well. Craft, sleep, repeat. <laughs> Do you know what mine would say? <laughs> I don't really get the sleep. Fifteen ninety nine is going to get this for you. Eight pounds saving. Eight six two two four three. That again is a lovely, lovely bundle. Great gifts. Really strong bag as well. If you just want to have a look at the stitching on the handles as well, um, I'm going to show you from the inside first of all. You can see the reinforced stitching in there. It's kind of doubled over, it's caught into the seam line and then it's stitched there as well so you've got that extra security there. Really good fabric, really strong. Do like these. They, really, really good. Do you know what? Great gifts but a, a nice treat for yourself as well. 862243. I'm not going to measure this one because the ruler's not big enough. That's how big it is. Oh, we've got the measurements for this one already. Oh, it's a bit complex. 32 and a half by 52 centimetres, by 31 and a half. Right, so I'm looking at this then. So what, what was the biggest one? 52 will be the width of it there. Then we had, what was the next one? 32 and a half will be the height. 31 and a half will be across the bottom there. Yeah, give or take. Don't need a, who needs a ruler when you've got information cards with all the information on? <laughs> oh, <laughs> next item, next item. This is a lovely little box again. No lid on this one. This is a nice open one. So you can put maybe taller utensils in here. Again, it doesn't have to be a sewing. It could be paintbrushes that go in there. It could be whatever you wish. Do, if you put in scissors in there, make sure the blades are either protected or they're pointing downwards because, of course, you haven't got the, the lid on the top there. Great price on this one as well. Ten forty nine, £9.50 is a saving on this one. 374809. Just in case there are any soft crafters watching, I'm talking scissors. If you're going to use this for your soft crafting, don't mix it up with your paper crafting scissors. Don't do that. Go for two. Have one for your soft crafting. Keep your special scissors in there. One for your paper crafts. Keep your other scissors in there. Don't mix them up. You'll know why. If you're a paper crafter and then you start soft crafts, you'll know never to use your paper craft scissors for your sewing. Let's measure this one. So we have, oh, now this is 23 centimeters across the widest point there. If I go from front to back, it is, I have to hold that there, that is 16 centimetres. Should we go height as well? Oh, I've got to compensate for that little bit that doesn't measure. Uh, we have got 11 centimetres height there, and you've got four compartments, as you can see. I'm not going to work those out, because you can work that out yourself, because they're equal. Divide it by four. There we are. Three seven four eight zero nine is the item number. I did say there was something for every pocket, didn't I? As well, We've got savings across the board for the hour because it is a happy hour. But we still got differences in those bundles, so I think there's something affordable for absolutely everybody. Now I really like this next item for more than one reason. Well, first of all, there's a saving. I don't even need to see the details. It's a happy hour, so I know there's a saving. There's lots of storage involved in this one as well. I love the fact that it's got little little lids on it as well. I just anything that's got compartments in make me smile. It is like a little picnic box, isn't it? Let's just open this out. Ooh, it's not strapped together, is it? I don't want to. There's no um, nothing holding this together. <laughs> there we go. I'm almost afraid to open this. There we are. Do you know? I think because it's brand new as well, you'll find that. Things I, I, sometimes I'm a bit like that though on the shows when I know they've not been looked at before. I think, oh, is there something that's glued together or has somebody put a tack in somewhere? I am turning it around because I've just noticed something else. Look, is this real or is it just for show? Let's find out. <gasps> it's real. Ah, uh, nobody even knew that were there, did they? How many bobbins and roll, reels of cotton are you going to get in there? Oh, I think I need to go and get one of these. Do you know why I like this as well? For anybody that knows the crafter in me, look at what it's made of. It's made of wood and there's no paint on it. You could decorate this in all sorts of ways. I know exactly what I'd be doing with this. 
I might have to just go and get this just so I can do it now. Janet Klein stamps. That's what I want to decorate it with from All and Create. Let's show you the top there as well. This is really, really good. I don't know, I want to multi buy on this. That is pine, isn't it? That is proper wood. It's not just an effect, it's pine wood. So it is real wood. So obviously it's porous. You can stamp on there, you can paint on there, you can use your texture paste on there. Do you know what? I would definitely go for more than one. If you do so, it's perfect for your sewing needs. You could keep, maybe if you're a cake decorator, you can put all your cutters in there and all your utensils as well. Even DIY, definitely makeup and hair accessories. Children's room as well, something that they could put their little toys in as well. I think that is just such a brilliant buy. That's my star buy of the night, that one. £4 saving, £19.99 is the price, 686.475. Do like that. Now, the next item, I did, as I, you know, I, we did have a prep meeting, so I did get to see things. I didn't get to inspect them, and I really didn't know there was a, a hidden drawer in that one. But I do like this, because this, I've never seen anything quite like this before. Again, these are wood, so you could decorate them, but you have got a genuine cross-stitch area that you can use at the top. Obviously, it's not fabric. It is the holes in the wood there. I'm just going to see if I can take the lid off this one. Again, I, no, it's not glued down. Now this is 100% plywood, so you can use your stains, your paints and all sorts. Now the cross stitch, if you know anything about it, the count determines the amount of holes per inch. And this is eight, eight holes per inch, so that's your eight count. So you can actually use maybe a cross stitch chart that you've got and put a pattern or design on there. You could do what you can see on the package in here as well put an initial on there and personalize it so there's lots of options and of course very useful boxes so these would make a great wedding wedding gift wouldn't they with the uh, bride and groom initials on there or maybe for a new baby you could keep things in there for the baby but do a lovely design on the top 13 pounds and 48 pence is going to get you both of those they are classes the large as well there shall we measure these oh we've got the details 15 by 15 i'm going to double check shall we make sure Actually, they are right. Should be seven centimetres deep. Let's check. Ooh. <sighs> Give or take a millimetre or two. It's just a fraction over. <laughs> I love that. They're a really good buy. Again, £13.48. 850 is a saving. 553499. Now we've got some sewing tidies for you next. No, is this all three? I presume this was going to be a choice. Whoa, these are sturdy as well. Let me just show you from the side. You've got the gusset in the side there, so they do kind of fold together at the top if you want to carry them around. So what, by that, you see, if they didn't fold, you'd have to carry them kind of like that or like that. You don't need to. You can close the top and carry them like that. They are PU leather. That means it's a faux leather. Um, but actually, they're very, very nice. If we can come and coming close on this. I don't know if you can see the texture. So it does look like leather. You can see the texture in there. Isn't that nice? Love it. All three, I can't get over that. Different designs as well. Do you know, straight away you can split that down and you've got three gifts for different people, haven't you? Depending on their taste, you can choose wisely. Now, I am going to say, if you want this one, be very quick on it. We don't have the biggest of stocks on this particular item. £6 savings, 17 Again, not just for your sewing needs. I know you've kind of got the sewing design as the detail on there, but you can put absolutely anything you want in there. Really good. Oh, magazines would work in there, wouldn't they? Maybe you've got your patterns. Maybe you're buying from the shows here and you want to keep your patterns in there, your sewing patterns, your knitting, knitting patterns, whatever patterns you want. All sorts of bits and pieces will certainly go in there. Do you know, Adam's little girl, Molly, she's got a little toy sewing machine and she made me something so sweet. She made me some little bags with tea bags inside. They're so cute. I bet Molly would love these to keep all her sewing goods in. Oh, very busy on these as well. Half the stock has gone. We have got decent stocks, but we haven't got the biggest stocks compared to some things. You need to be very quick on that. And the price will go up, of course, to $23.99 at the top of the hour. More storage. Now, you've got a choice of colour on this one. Navy or pink. I've not even taken the lids off, and I'm loving these already as well because these are a really good size. I'm hoping the size is on the top, actually, here. Uh, Oh, it's not. 
Going to have to get the ruler out. Just reading though. Right, just say larger and stronger construction side lids. Now you've got your snaps there to make sure your lids are really, really firmly shut. Ah, look what you've got. Oh, I wish I'd known that was there earlier. How'd you get that off there? I don't want to there. Is that magnetic? Oh no, it just pops inside. Look what we've got. A tape measure you can read. Now you've also got the pin caddy there as well. I think that might be magnetic, you know. Yes, it is. It says on the top. You've got a bobbin tray in here as well, which is this one here. Let me just put that down for a second. This is a really good bag. I might have to get some of these. Look at that. That's for your bobbins. How many bobbins are you going to get in there? A lot, aren't you? And that's just one side. Let me open. Let me see what I mean about the snaps as well. You can hear when they open and close. So let's just turn that around. See, oh, actually, I've got different things here. So there's the other tray. There's a ruler on top there as well. So if you want to measure any bits of ribbon or string or bits of fabric and you want, you know, you can't find your ruler or you've misplaced your tape measure or you can't be bothered to open the other side and get it out, you've got that little ruler there as well. So again, snap shut so you can hear that. And then you've got these lovely clasps here that mean you can take the lid right off. Look how deep this is. Shall we measure it? This is enormous. I'm going to use my new tape measure. Uh, let's have a look. Now, this this is what I like. This is why this is better than the ruler. Look, you start measuring right from the very end of it as well. So, we have... I've got a twist in my tape measure now. <laughs> we have got 10 inches in height. If we go across the width here, we have got... I'll measure from the opening rather than edge to edge. So, this is the opening size. You've got just under 15 inches. The other way, again, opening size, 10 inches. So really generous, absolutely gorgeous. The blue one is exactly the same when it comes to the measuring, measurements. It's just the color and design because you've got that kind of little sticker that goes on there as well. But let's just check nobody's printed tape measure. Oh, still there. There they are, look. <laughs> it's like a face, isn't it? Do you know what that reminds me of? Mr. Baker in the gallery just said that. Just as I was thinking, it was like a face. But do you know what else it reminds me of? One of Janet's characters. You no, know, because they have the flowers around their eyes and that sort of thing. And they're really quirky. <laughs> oh, that's the mouth. Hello. <laughs> oh, I better put this tape measure back. Can I just show you one more thing with the tape measure? Look, it is retractable. How long is the tape measure? It goes right up to 60 inches to measure. In centimetres, you've got a metre and a half. Because you have got centimetres as well. And it's got a little button, so when you press the button, it retracts as well. I'm not going to let it go in really fast. There we are. And it all tucks away. And then you just pop that, of course, back in place. Everybody's my witness here, because sometimes things get misplaced a little bit. Yeah, what is that one? I'm putting it back. Look, it wasn't me that pinched it if it goes missing. <laughs> 971644 is the item, and we're busy on that one as well. 1599. What a great price again. Nine pounds saving on those. Oh, go for one of each colour. Why not? Now we've got some bobbin boxes. Now these are different as well. You are getting both of these. Now each contains 50 spools. Now let's have a little look at this. Now you may have noticed the labelling on the front, or you might see. Oh, it doesn't tell you on our details. See, I know something else about this as well. There you are. I've just taken the top open there so you can see. But look at this. If I leave that open so you can see I'm not cheating, it's double-sided. doesn't say that on our details, does it? That means, of course, you can put bobbins in one side and shut the lid. You've got more space at the other side, you can shut the lid. And then it just depends which one you want to open for the appropriate colour. But it means that storage is holding the most that it possibly can. And you are getting two of them as well. Another great bundle there. Eleven ninety nine, a four pound savings. Seven five five seven seven nine. Really good uh, hinges on there again, and those little clasps that will hold it all together. They would actually go really neatly inside your boxes as well, if you wanted extra storage inside there. What great items we've got on this show, haven't we? 
Now, a little reminder, it is happy hour, so check those baskets out. Also, we're going to tell you about freedom as well, because you may not have joined the club yet. Have you heard of Achanda Freedom? Did you know that as a Hachanda Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £5.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Achanda Freedom members badge, regular newsletters, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with Achanda more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause it if you're going away or you can cancel it at any time. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or head to the website, quoting item number 888888 and join Hachanda Freedom today. Oh, thanks, Leonie. I love seeing Leonie in that blue dress. It so suits her. Now, when it comes to freedom, we have got freedom for our friends in Europe as well. So let's tell you about that. So it works in the same sort of way, but you can see there, if you are purchasing without freedom, it would cost you €11.99. Euros and 99. Is it cents, we say? What do we say? It is cents, isn't it? I always wonder on that. I always think, have I got that wrong? Do you know, that would soon add up, wouldn't it? But if you're joining the Freedom Membership Club, then, of course, you can see the price there. €14.97 Euros and 97 cents per month. And you've got the unlim unlimited standard delivery. You've got no contracts. You've got the discounts. You've got the newsletter. And you've got the member's badge as well. What about our friends in America, though? We can treat you in the same sort of way as well. $6.95 would be the standard delivery per item for you. But for one month, just $19.99. I think everybody, if you do the maths, you can see that is a bit of a no-brainer if you're buying a lot from us as well. Everything getting shipped abroad, the costs soon mount up, don't they? The same benefits there for you as well. So do take advantage if you're not already a member. Now, when it comes to this show, of course, we've got deals right across the board because it is a happy hour. The prices that you're looking at that really count are the ones in the yellow box because they're the savings. And quite often you will see the savings are larger than the price you're now going to pay. The one that you don't want to be looking at is the one above the yellow box because that's the price it will go up to if you don't check your baskets out in time. So let's give you a reminder of what we've got. I really think this is so smart. Honestly, I think everything about this just screams quality. The beautiful fabric that it's coated in, the trim that is around the edge, the little feet on there as well. I didn't show you those, did I? And it's important to have feet on things usually because, you know, when they're sat on the floor, if it was just fabric that was on the floor, you're moving things around, it would start to wear. So that's going to protect the edges there as well for you. Then as we open the lids up, you can see, let's do this one at a time again, you can see you've got your little pin cushion, you've got your little pocket in there as well so you can keep bits and pieces in there. Both of the lids will open separately. So maybe you just want to grab something that's just in one lid. You don't have to open the whole thing up and take the tray out. You don't have to mess about like that. Different pockets there because they di uh, stitch in different places. In fact, there's a stitching line down the center, so it gives you those two pockets. Then we've got the tray, which you've got that easy finger lift area as well. So you don't have to sort of try and grab the edge and you can't pick it up. You just go straight for the center. You can lift that out easily. Different compartments of different sizes. So very useful for all sorts of needs. And then again, you've got that really lovely, generous size box in the bottom. Look at the quality of the fabric again there. And that is such a pretty colour once again, isn't it? $15.99, this is half price. Get two, two for the price of one. That's what you can get there. Keep one for yourself and gift one. 137552, you've got about 32 minutes left to get these prices and then they will go up. Love that. Beautiful fabric as well, really fresh, beautiful colours in the blues and the green. The next item, this is styled on, on a stool. You can see the little feet there. Maybe you have got a little, a little friend who wants to sit on there. It could be something that you've made. It could be maybe a little pet dog. Maybe it could be a child that wants to sit on there. I wouldn't ever suggest that adults sit on it because I don't think it's really meant for that. But it is a beautiful quality box once again. You've got the pin cushion, you've got the pocket, you've got the inner tray again, very easy to lift out once again. And of course, you've got that very generous box inside there. I mean, keep your sewing patterns or anything in there, couldn't you? Keep it all together. That is lovely. Do you know, it would sit really nice in a room. Sometimes when you haven't got an area, maybe on a surface, you want something, this is a piece of furniture in itself. It really does work beautifully. 
744635 is the item number on this one, just 28.99. Look at the saving on that, £31 saving. Again, less than half price. Then, oh, we, we've all fallen in love with this one as well. This is so neat. Even though it looks as though it's straight on the countertop, if I lift that up, you will see it has got those feet on there as well. So it's going to protect the bottom and the corners of that fabric from wearing. It's also going to stop that marking if it's on a wooden floor or something like that as well. There is padding in the top. It's really, really nice to look at. And when you feel the quality of this again, the clasp there is magnetic but very strong. It's the colour inside that really sets this one apart for me. Doesn't that complement so beautifully? The tray is there again for you and you've still got a generous box to keep all your bits and pieces in. For less than £15, this can be yours. That is a great buy. 641994 is the item number. Now, before we go any further, we have got some seven-day savers to tell you about, and these are really apt, actually. The yarn, this is a baby yarn as well. 10 50-gram balls. This is made of different ingredients there as well. 55% of the polyacryl. I think that stands for polyacrylic, doesn't it? 45% of the polyamide as well. Really lovely and washable, very, very soft. That's what I do know about the ingredients there. 175 yards on each of those balls of yarn. This is your Joy Double Knitting, your Tutti Fruit and your Sherbet Yarn. Now, we do recommend four millimeter needles. You can, of course, crochet with this as well. Do you know, quite often, if your tension is a little bit loose, sometimes we say go to a, a size smaller, especially if you're crocheting. Look at the detail in the yarn as well. You've got those flashes of color in there. Very nice. You didn't even pick that out, did you, on the first picture? Didn't realize they were there. 355673. Five, We've also got some zips for you. These are all things that will go in these storage storage boxes we've got. These are jean zips. Now, there's something else you can use these for. I don't know if you saw the show. Oh, it was only a couple of days ago with Irene. And she was making brooches out of zips. Amazing sets and very busy on them as well. But you could go for these and do all sorts of different things. Also, I think these are great for your mixed media. You can use them and paint them over with your gessos and your paints as well. But for soft crafting, look how many get in. 30 of these. These are jean zips as well, so really strong. 16 and a half centimeters in length, or we'll convert that to inches, six and a half inches. 20 pounds saving, 9.99 for 30. That is such a good buy. Genuinely, I bought zips like that in the past and just had to buy one. You can pay a lot of money for a good quality zip. 761355 is the item number for those. Then we have a desk caddy for you, so more storage actually. This is another good buy. I know Janice saw this earlier and she was telling me about this. She said it's such a handy item again. It's not just for your sewing needs. Paint brushes, your craft items as well. 562291, maybe your tools in there as well. Oh, my new secret Santa hammer would go in there. Did anybody see that? I love my secret Santa hammer. I think I know who got it. I think I do. Uh, if anybody doesn't know what I'm talking about, we did a secret sand here. We did one for red shift, which is one shift, and we did one for the blue shift as well. And um, I've had lovely, lovely secret sanders from both. But the hammer, because I love my DIY, it was engraved with my name and DIY Queen. Do you, I have genuinely, do you know where it is? I, I think I'm going to make a little case for it or hang it on the wall. But at the minute, it's on my sideboard. I've got all my Christmas lights and cards around it and it's got pride of place on my sideboard honestly i love it 862243 though is the item for this item so if you're going for the seven day savers and you're going for the yarn look wool <laughs> officially though we can't call yarn wool unless it is 100 percent wool that's posh yarn for you, isn't it, when it's real wool? $15.99 for this. You're not just getting the bag, you're also getting this as well. This is very handy. I didn't show you the zip, did I, earlier? Look, you can keep your crochet hooks or maybe some of your knitting needles in there, some of your bits and pieces as well. Do you know, this is a really nice fabric. Again, you could stamp on that if you've got your stamps or colour in, as I said earlier. I think that would be a good idea. So always other ways you can craft with these items. 862-243, just fifteen ninety nine. You are saving £8 for this hour and this hour only. 
Next, we have the organizer for you. Now, this does have a lovely carry handle, but the fact that there's no lid on this means you can put something of, you know, a larger height in there. It doesn't have to be the same size as the base of this. It could be scissors, it could be rulers. Just make sure it's a better one than the one that I've got to measure with, because it's a bit useless. Uh, what else could we put in there? You could use it for your paintbrushes again, your different tools. You've got four compartments there, so you can separate things up and organize them a little bit as well. Very pretty fabric around there. Just 10.49 for this one. Very sturdy as well. Listen. Very sturdy. 374809 is the item number. £9.50 is the saving on that one. My Star Buy. This is simply, but it's not just because it's useful. It's not just because it's got a drawer that nobody realised was there that is so, so handy. Look at that. It's not just that you can keep all sorts in this. For me, the star by element is all about the fact that I can decorate this in so many different ways. Do you know, I'm going to turn it this way. I can open it a lot easier if I turn it towards myself. There you are. Look at that. That is brilliant. Do you know, your makeup could go in there. I think I said hair accessories earlier on as well. Uh, definitely, you can use your rice papers and your decoupage papers as well. You could put your mouldings around and make a frame, couldn't you, on there as well? What else could you do with it? Yeah, your stencils. Anything you like. Just looks great, doesn't it? It's sturdy as well. I mean, that's not going to topple over anything because it sits nice and firm on your countertop. It doesn't need the feet on that one. just doesn't need them, but you could add them if you wanted to. What about going for some of the... Or, um, Le Blanche? Those metal embellishment feet, they would look great on there, wouldn't they? You've just got to be careful of the drawer, though, because... Oh, I don't know, actually, if it would work that. The ones underneath would, as long as they don't go around the corners, because you don't want to interfere with the drawer opening. Don't miss out on that. 686475 is the item number. Very busy on that one as well. A £4 saving. Really, really good buy. You can get those feet that don't fit on the, the actual corners. They would work. Just put them on the bottom there. I want that. I need to get some of those, I think. I really like these as well. This is such a good idea. Let me just show you. If you missed this earlier on, this is not fabric on the top, but you can actually cross-stitch into it. Let me just take this apart again. I'm doing a rubbish job of getting lids off, aren't I? There we are. Eight count. So that is eight holes per inch. So you could actually use a cross-stitch detailed... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? The pattern, the pattern. It's as simple as that, isn't it? A cross stitch pattern. Even if it wasn't to the same count, as long as you work it out and you've got room because you can enlarge something, you can stitch actually into the top of that. You could fill the whole of the area or maybe just do a pattern in the middle and leave the holes. It would still look attractive. You can paint or decorate the rest of the box and you've got something to keep your bits and pieces in there as well. I just think it's a great idea. You're not getting one, you are getting two for £13.48. 8 is the saving on that one. Make sure I get the lid on properly. And the item number is 553499. There we go. I love that idea. Really do like that. Oh, these are oh, very busy on these. Limited stock on this one. You're not getting one. It's not a choice. You're getting all three. Now, these are, for want of a better word, faux leather. It's not the description we've got, but it means exactly the same thing. So you get the leather effect, but they're not real leather. But they're wipeable, they're washable, they're very sturdy as well. Listen again. Oh! That's because it's more hollow on the bottom. Yeah, use them as a musical instrument. You can, you know, if you've got a family of three. I wonder if they're all different. Should we try them all? I bet you could play some right tunes on those, couldn't you? Hours of fun. <laughs> oh, I know what I haven't done. I've got to mention this. If there's anybody watching me, <laughs> I'm being considerate. You know, it's a big save event that we've got going on here, but there's something that I'm considering buying, and we haven't got it for sale here at Achanda. If we did, I'd be buying it for sure, because it would have a saving on it. But I'm looking at a soup maker. One of those that you put all the ingredients in, and you can decide whether you go chunky soup or smooth soup, 
but it also cooks it for you as well. One of those ones, but it does the whole thing, so it's convenient. Has anybody got one? Do you recommend them? Let me know. I'm trying to make my mind up. But for now, $17.99 is the price. <laughs> Yeah, anyway, Europe, America, let me know what you think of soup makers. 025317 is the item number for these as well. I don't think I'd quite fit one inside here. Uh, I don't know if it, it might hold the soup, though. I could carry it. It could be my little lunchbox. No, don't do that. I think it would leak. 17.99, six pounds saving, limited stock on those. Great buy once again. Oh, I might get a soup maker in the next item. These have been very busy as well. Now, they are the same. It's just the colours that are differ. Uh, you can choose navy or the pink. Shall we look inside the blue one this time? So, right, because I just want to show you the tape measure and the magnetic pin box again. So you do have, before I lift that clasp book, you have got the top lip, lids here. Um, open there, look, you see? Look! <laughs> it's got to sleep again. Oh. Is that his nose? And that's the mouth. <laughs> oh, it's like, oh, I've had enough today. Oh. Hello, everybody. Oh, I'm so fed up. <laughs> oh, shall we take one of his eyes out? <laughs> I'm going to take the tape measure again. These stick in really firmly as well. You've got, or is it just me who's not very strong today? Because normally, you, that's the thing. I need to be using that hammer. I need to be wielding that hammer. I think I've lost my muscles today. This is magnetic. <laughs> and of course, you have got a retractable tape measure in there. Shall I do it the right way up so you can see the numbers properly? There we are. And you've not just got inches. You have got centimetres as well. There we go. And you've got the retractable button there. So you just press that and then it will fold back in or reel back in. And then, look, you've got the magnet in there. So that's going to hold your pin. So they're not going to, they're not going to fall out. I wonder if you can shut the lid in the still same place as well. Oh, I'm wondering now. Now you do have also the other side as well. So let's just open that up. You've got a tape measure on this one as well, or a, a ruler on the top there. But a very handy little compartment. There we go. Oh, I didn't show you the bobbin tray, did I, either, on the other side? You can fit lots of bobbins in there as well. I don't know if that comes out. Oh, it does! <gasps> Look! Oh, this is why, you see, you need to inspect every inch of everything, don't you? See, nobody told me about that, did they? A retractable bobbin tray with hidden compartments underneath. You could keep little spare buttons in there, your safety pins. Oh, this just gets better and better, doesn't it? Oh, I've got some pins here. Let's see if the magnet works. Oh! Look. I'm going to test it. There's a little baby pin there as well, look. <laughs> that will come away, so you can put that on your desk. But I am wondering, I am wondering if we shut the lid, will, will they stay? Yes! Look at that! Should we, should we test it a bit further? <laughs> oh, that feels as though I shouldn't really be doing that. <gasps> oh, can I? Can I? Oh, no way! That is a really good magnet in there, isn't it? Look, they haven't budged, have they? Just to prove, look, I'm not cheating. There's no pins inside. Nothing's fallen out. Oh, love that idea. $15.99 is the price on this one. You've still got time to check those baskets out. Do not miss out on these savings. £9 is the saving, 971-644. I can tell you, it's a choice. You've got the blue or the pink, the navy or the pink. Navy is currently in the lead. There's a lot of... Oh, I didn't even show you inside, did I? Let's just go back to the base because... <laughs> just playing with the magnet. It's just so much fun. Uh, let's take the top off. Look at that. 
It's huge. It's like a bucket, isn't it, really? Do you know, you could keep all sorts of children's toys in here as well. Love it. Do you know, I'm thinking, you know, when you've got, um, you, you could actually separate that. Do you know, that's a really good idea I'm just seeing from the gallery. Take the top off. Keep that as a sewing tray. Let the kids use the bottom bit for keeping their bits and pieces in. Also, your dog toys and that sort of thing would go in there as well. Also, I'm thinking when it's the children, mind you, it's not just children, is it? <laughs> I'm not putting soup in it. Um, I'm thinking of those building blocks, though, because you get the larger blocks, don't you? And then sometimes you get the smaller bits and pieces, like wheels and things, that you can put in the top and set, keep them all separated in the compartments. Jack likes that idea. I saw him nodding his head then. Those building blocks are not just for children, definitely for adults as well. Don't miss out on these. 971644. And then our next item, I really like these, and these will fit inside if you want them as extra storage as well. You do get the tray in the previous item, but here you've got the double sided. Now each holds 50 spools, so I presume that's 25 one side and 25 the other. There we are. So it's double sided. You get two of those, so in total that's 100 spools. £11.99, £4 saving, seven five five seven seven nine. I want to play with the magnets again. Uh, shall we go to a video so I can measure things? We've got Flexi. Flexible. Flexi order has arrived at her chanda. What is Flexi order? When you place an item on FlexiBuy in your basket, you qualify for a Flexi order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments, so you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly FlexiBuy payments, offering you the extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with Achanda easier. Did you notice the little basket on our Flexi Order logo there? It looks a bit like this one. You can see it there on the screen, look. Like that. Ah, who would have thought it? Well, you can have your very own Flexi Basket or your Flexi Sewing Basket because that's what we've got on offer here. And it is very flexible, look, with the handles and also the lids in there as well. So they will open separately. You've got lots of compartments in the tray there again. And of course, you've got a very generous base to this one. Very nice, very well finished off, I've got to say. Let me just show you the feet on that one as well, because it will protect your floor and also the box itself. $15.99, this is half price. I really love the colours of this one. Blues and greens together always work, don't they? That beautiful fabric as well. How pretty is that? 137552 is the item number. Then we'll have a little look at our stool again. So this is designed to look like a stool. You could, a small person could sit on it or maybe, as I said earlier, a teddy bear or maybe a rag doll or something like that. But essentially, it's there for your storage, isn't it? It's very, very useful. Beautiful colour inside there. It's almost that Wedgwood blue in there, isn't it? Or that sort of uh, cornflower blue, maybe. You've got your pin cushion, you've got your pocket, you've got your tray in there again. And you've got a really generous size box in this one. Despite having the feet on there, it's still a really good size internally, that box. I do like that. Very smart and a nice clasp on the front as well, which is magnetic, but it's very, very strong. Just smart all the way around, isn't it, again, that one? Item number 744635 and just £28.99, a £31 saving on that one. Now, one that's become a firm favourite simply because of the lining of this one, but it's very attractive everywhere you look at it isn't it and it's really soft and spongy on top as well very sort of contemporary with the fabric but look inside that beautiful regal purple of that plum as we decided earlier 
it doesn't matter that it's small, you've still got the tray, you've still got the compartments, you've still got a generous box there, you've got the pin cushion, you've got the pocket as well. Maybe you want something that will tuck away and uh, maybe it, that would sit on a desk perhaps or just tuck away in a cupboard or maybe you just want to keep it on show. Look at the saving on this one, £24 saving, it's massive. You're only paying 14 99 that is enormous as a saving but of course not much more than 11 minutes left now before that price will go up to 38.99 on that item 641994 is the item number then we have our wool bag with our craft sleep and repeat this is another little accessory box for you there not box or a bag i love the tassel on the zip as well just adds to the look of that doesn't it you could decorate that further if you wanted to. You can kind of see the size of this because we've got a cushion inner inside our bag. So, uh, do you know, that's got to be, that definitely looks like an 18-inch cushion to me. Look, it's all nicely lined as well. I didn't even show you inside, did I, before? It's not just one, one fabric and that's it, and it's just kind of plain inside. It's all lined, so you've got the strength there for that reason as well. You can keep all sorts. You could even use that as a shopping bag if you wanted, you know. Just because it says wool on there doesn't mean you can't go shopping with it. Love it. 15 99 £8 saving, 862243 Then a different type of storage now. Look, you can put your taller items in this one. You do have the carry handle. It is very sturdy. I'm just going to knock on that again. Knock on wood. That's a song, isn't it? From <laughs> Knock on wood. <laughs> Has anybody let me know about their soup makers yet? <laughs> Ten forty nine is the price of this one. Nine pounds and fifty pence. Three seven four eight zero nine. I just can't make my mind up. Is it? I, I'm kind of yeah. I need. I think I need it. Somebody let me know if you've got one and you like it. <laughs> I don't need my mind making up on this though. I would definitely go for any of these items on the counter. I think we've got some brilliant prices, some brilliant deals, and some amazing quality in these as well. 374809 on that one. Oh, one of the favourites, still mine. Just to show you, it is much easier for me if I open this lid up. Look, now I can open it much more easily. There we are. Let's turn it back for you so you can see exactly what you're getting. Mustn't forget the little drawer at the bottom because it is very, very useful. I do really like this. Oh, this needs to come back another time on a happy hour where I'm not the presenter so I can go and get some of these. I think they're lovely. Uh, great service to work one. Do you know, I'll tell you what as well, it is real wood, it's pine, but there is no sort of rough edges on there. It's all nice and smooth. It's really great. You know, you don't have to decorate it, but I just think the fact that you've got the option to do that just makes that more appealable. £19.99, £4 savings, 686475 Then, of course, we have our cross stitch boxes you get both of these under that item number 553499 you can cross stitch into the lid just a reminder or if you didn't see it earlier eight of those uh, different holes per inch so it's an eight count or equivalent to eight count uh katie what were you just saying to me then oh yes yeah we'll point that out actually yeah when it comes to the lid it fits really securely because you've got that ridge at the top look so you can see that when the lid goes on it can't go too far down it's just going to sit on the edge there that is a really really nice idea great for your gifts this one 13 pounds and 48 pence eight pounds and 50 pence is the saving on that one five five three four nine nine i know would like that alex because she likes a cross stitch and she brings it to work so when she's off shift and she's you know she wants something to do you can keep all your threads and your bits and pieces inside the box, can't you? And then you've got a project to do. Now, something that's been very busy, and we're down to single figures on this one, all three of these for $17.99. Just to remind you again, you've got the gusset down the side, which means you can actually pull that together at the top and carry these around. So you don't have to worry about that. You know, it's not that rigid that you can't, you know, you can't do that or you have to carry it in an awkward way. You can pull that together, but very sturdy wipeable if you get any stains on there i don't know perhaps you are using it for your paints and things or your brushes and you, you get something on the outer edge then of course you can wipe that down as well six pounds saving on this one limited stock we've only got a handful of these left zero two five three one seven <gasps> uh oh where's it gone 
Just check in. Just check in. Oh, it's there. I knew I'd left it out, you see. I thought somebody might have pinched it. If you want the navy, you need to be quick because it's limited stock on this one. And, of course, we are getting very close to the top of the hour, so the price will go up to 24.99. Do you know what? <laughs> Is that true, what I've just heard? Somebody might have just saved me some money. Somebody said, don't bother with the soap maker. I really wasn't decided. Yeah, thank you for that. Genuinely, I wanted everybody's opinion. Just more money for craft, that's all. <sighs> Even when it's not happy hour, that gives me money to spend. Do you know what? Limited stock on this one, on the navy. You've still got the pink as well. They're both exactly the same, just the colour's different. But... Even at $24.99, I would pay every single penny for that. I think these are a great buy. I really do. 971-644. But why spend that extra £9? Do check your baskets out on those before the price does go up. We've got one more item to remind you of as well, the bobbin box. These are double-sided, just to show you again. Really nice, sturdy clasps on these as well. So they do sort of separate totally. So you can maybe you could go with kind of your neutral colours on one side. And you could maybe go with your colours on the other side so it keeps everything nicely organised and separate. Or do something like Phil Martin does with his pens. Put all your greens, all your blues, all your reds together. Both of those for £11.99, £4 saving, seven five five seven seven nine. And there we are, we mentioned at the counter yet again. You've still got a little bit of time to check those baskets out. You've got about five minutes. We do keep those baskets open a little bit longer than the live hour. But do you know, we've had a busy show and I'm not surprised. I'm I'm sure everybody's going to be absolutely delighted with anything they purchase. The quality is exceptional. Not like me order bought soap make and then regretted it. Bye -bye. Oh, that's the final live hour for today. But, of course, we've got All and Create coming up next, the big save, and then we've got wonderful wool happy hour. Oh, we're selling a wool bag, aren't we? Let Leonie loose with the big save afterwards.